Hello, hello, everybody. This might be the final one. I don't know how many more chapters there are. It just... It feels like... I don't know. Considering the, how quickly we got all of the, like, gemstones for the Fire Emblem, I can't help but feel that we're nearing the end. And since there doesn't seem to be any more paralogues that... Unless one pops up. I don't know. We got Tiki in one, so maybe there'll be more paralogs popping up here or there, but I just don't think that we are that far away. Well, we I, I think that we aren't that far away. We'll quickly barracks, and then we shall go... And see how far we get, because basically go three hours or until we beat the game, maybe. Again, I don't know. It could end at 25, it could end at 30, maybe it ends at 32 chapters. I don't know. It could go anywhere. <laughs> what is this boost of excellence I sense within my noble self? Even I am amazed. What do you do when you need a distraction? I primarily read, and I put every book back exactly where I found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal, normal. Ah, this will be new, maybe. Zounds, you look spirited. Did you steal off last night for a bit of secret training? No, I just finally worked out how to use this difficult magic. Wanna see? Uh, to me, that sounds like uh, secret training, but who knows. Maybe it wasn't secret training, so it doesn't count. <laughs> You're doing great out there. Why don't you and me tag team some risen scum? Fight with you? I'd be on and be on words, my lady. How come you vanish after each battle? Do you have a hobby or whatever? I make sure my weapons are in tip-top shape, and then I find out about food. We haven't used stall in forever. I just fell into a habit of like, ah, I like these characters. And the only support thing is... Uh, Jan and uh, Lucina, but I want to at least give Na a chance to maybe activate it. Depending, depending, but let's see. Plegia Castle, obviously there's going to be battle. Will we find answers? Will there be any answers? I don't know. Well, chapter 21. Five gemstones. There it, there it sits. Huh? What's wrong, Lucina? No. That great skull. I saw it once before when Imran was sentenced to die. Even then it reminded me of him. What? You mean? Yes. Yes. Grima the fell dragon. A cataclysmic war ushered his return. It said he fed on the souls of the fallen before turning upon the living. Have we even found out what the Risen are? Has Lucina mentioned at all what they are? Because they had to have come from the future. Maybe that's what happened. Like, Grima fed on people's souls and they became risen and were sent to fight. But yeah, it just feels like there are certain pieces of information that we haven't really gotten. I really like the lighting effects that are going on here. I'm much jealous. The kind of red shiny and blue shiny and white shiny all together. Making a nice prismatic lighting. I don't know why. I think there was words there, but I failed. Oh, back to this flashback. I think she said something about, yeah, feeding all the souls and then bringing them back as the undead. Holy shit, that's a giant dragon. Not what I expected, Grim. Uh, I don't know. What a freak. Double freak. Your mother and father Harsh are dead, tiny one. <laughs> tiny one proceeds to mock. Again, Jesus has such a big dragon. And now it is your turn. How do you survive this, Lucina? Jesus! Whether these are his true bones or just an effigy, I cannot say. 
But I know this. We cannot let that monster come back to life. Listen. We'll stop him, Lucina. I promise. The future can be changed. You've proven it already. And with us all together, we can turn the course of history. Father. I want to believe that, Father. I want to believe that more than anything. But yeah, where's my doppelganger? My father. What a, What is a Versa gonna do? I'm kind of surprised they didn't act while we were on Valm. Hmm. Psst, Krom. Listen. Trouble? Yeah. I saw armed soldiers hiding in the shadows as we were shown in. Right. Then it sounds like we have our answer already. There's Validar and Aversa. Good day, well met, my lord. What have we here? Prince Krom, welcome. Hmm. I was told you had something you wished to give me. Oh. My, my, no time for courtesy, my lord. Such impatience. Do you really want it that badly? This concerns me. The gemstones in the Fire Emblem can be treacherous artifacts. A fact Plegia and the Grim Leal sadly know all too well. What? Sadly? You speak ill of when the First Exalt used them against the Fell Dragon? <laughs> yes, I do, intruder. <laughs> intruder? You are not supposed to be here. You must be destroyed. Just jumping right to it, Validar. You wouldn't dare. Now then. Give me the Fire Emblem. Give it to me! You mad scoundrel, this is a declaration of war! I will only ask one last time. Give me the emblem. Now! Never. Then this parley is over. Guards, seize them! Just as we thought. Crom, this way, quickly! <laughs> Falador just lets him go. Neon had an escape route all planned out. How preciously clever of her. You should be proud. <laughs> if she had half the wits of her father, she would know they've already lost. Well, that was quick. Now let's take a look. Who do we want to bring in? We'll pair up Nan Yan. Hmm. I say put... Out Sairi. Bring in who? I guess let's bring in Lanku. Just have a nice army. Alright, let's see. Activate. There's a bunch of treasure chests. But the question is, do I care to? Wait, can it... Interesting. There's just a bunch of uh, staircases, but we can't, like, get to them. There's no way to or fro. Hmm. Well, let's see. We can throw Gaius in, I'd say. And I guess... I guess take out Tiki. Because she's neat, but, like, late in the game, lower stats comparative... Probably should have grabbed her stone, but oh well. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's much in terms of, like, moving around. I guess we'll have guys come here, grab it. Now we just need to decide uh, characters. We'll obviously send characters to kill these guys. And then just, like, move out as a force to guard. Who will go with Gaius? I say... We have Donal out. Donal will go with Gaius. To grab that, kill him. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's like much need to micromanage my movement here. So let's begin the fight. Are you ready? We have to get out of here. Now! Cut down anyone who gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Signal the men on hiding and give these Elysian scum no quarter. Ah, to defeat the commander. I want to see. Will commander move? 
Commander will move if we get in the way. The sparklies are in places I don't care to go. So, yeah. Donald, join up. Come down here. First things first. Uh, your bow is good. Diddly -dee. Open door. Come over here and blast you. Annihilate these fools. Bye-bye. Again. The smack talk. Brilliant. I just realized something. Did I... I don't... I forgot to do that. Oh, well. Not terrible, but not great. Aww. Pair you up, because why not? Pair up you, because why not? Pair up you, because why not? Which leaves this pair. Go ahead and blast them. Get some aid from Na as well. I should have probably taken off his soul and given him a normal sword. Yeah, we'll just come in. Might keep a sword. I also did some uh, inventory management just to keep things flowing. But only mild inventory management. Didn't go crazy. Kill him so that he can't do anything weird and wonky. We'll put on the bow, just because. Oh, you have a range! I keep forgetting that some of you guys have crazy range because you're <laughs> mad like that. And we can't retaliate. That's a sc scary crit. That's a scary animation. Get stabbed. Time for Super Stab. Where were these Plagian soldiers back in the, uh, like, the original war that started all this? I shall smack you with a sword. Say goodbye. I just also realized that was an assassin. That could have been scary. Blast away. Kill them all. To the very last one. And of course, send you down here. Grab, just because we can. Noble Rapier. Time for blasting. Again, this is a very big castle to be able to house dragons. Mortally mad, I say. Still going. And how are you going to get in? There's no doors. Or 
Oh, that's why. You're just a uh, super scary motherfucker that's gonna attack from anywhere. Oh, that's what you are. How nice. That's what his deal is. Up. And he'll come up here to kill this guy, because you ugly. Now die. Because those guys are just going to be staying on the map, shooting wherever they want. And then we'll just get him to go and grab whatever. I'm just lucky that all everybody has good stats to avoid these. They would be scary otherwise. Frickin' magic artillery. It can't be. Where are all the plugins that like like oh I listened to the exalt's words and feel bad. Where did they all go? Do they just leave Plegia? Were they called? Did they join Elise and Ferox in the meantime? I really should have given you the boots so you could go a bit faster. Oh, not you. We have plans in order. Eat this man whole. Murder him. Blast. I don't know why. It feels like Nog gets a lot of good experience just out of nowhere. The dragon shall lead the way and annihilate everyone. And I keep forgetting to take his goddamn soul off. I wish that I could manage the inventory, like, post-activation. Sure, sure. Keep trying to attack. Uh, it would be hilarious if you could, like, super retaliate. Whenever these guys do that, if you have a ranged attack, you can go like, nah, fuck you. Assassins scare me because they could have assassination lethality things. Well. That's not good at all. Shall go to this. Because we need to smack these guys down. No damage. It wouldn't have even hit because it's 0% chance. Don't worry, I will knock you out of the way of this attack that won't hit you. I guess I'll send these guys back to maybe draw. Everyone else will be out here until diddly dee, dally da. Are you ready? <laughs> I know it'd be impossible, but it would be it would be amusing if they actually visualized the distance. You just see this guy off in the distance through walls. I'm going to curse you now. He actually hit him, bastard. If that hit, I would have been sad, because that's a lot of damage. We shall smiggity smack, because we gotta free the boy! Just because we can. 
Blast. Obliterate this man. Smack you with the parallel falchion, the unbreakable sword. Have my gratitude. And got the master key. We can just do whatever, I guess. Let's see. Blast him with Makia's power. Goodbye. <laughs> Meteor from the skies. Have come to murder you. That guy, because he attacks through walls. These goddamn artillery mages. Don't you know when to quit? must murder the artillery mages. Is there a bunch of hoo-ha? Hmm. I guess clickety-click you, just so I know where to avoid. Well, actually, let's kill you, because the assassin's more scary. Time to become a Beyblade. I will assassin this assassin. It was your time. Out, uh, barbarian! This barbarian, with the power of ether. There we are. And we shall blast you with a meteor. Goodbye, dear sir. You survived the media, but did not expect the Pegasus. Both come from the skies to rain down death. These guys are evil. Evil! Time. So let's see, who should get the kill? I say... Ah, we can just come over here, swap, blast him with fire. He's not gonna die, I just realized that. Get a crit for lulls. Maximum lulls. Maximum lulls achieved! It doesn't really matter. Forgot that she still has her Dilly D equipped. My bed. Damn artillery mages. I have meteors from the sky, but I can't attack back. Such shenanigans. A barbarian has come because he wants to die to a meteor. We shall oblige. Meteor from the sky. It's so, it just, I love that there's like hardly any focus from the like entering trajectory. It's just, and then there was a meteor. And that amuses me so much. And then suddenly a meteor happened.
Probably should have brought two. But oh well. If he dies, he dies. Yeah, we'll just shoot you with a bow because you're ugly. Goodbye. Goodbye again. Jump over the flames. Shoot him in the head. Through his stupid little eyes. Yeah, we'll just stay like this. <laughs> Poor Gaius. He's going to have three of these guys gunning for him. One of them is going to get lucky, and it will not be my day. Good job. And so the mage then had to get in close to die. <laughs> free for all! Would have been funny if he turned and shot Jerome because free for all. Not really a free for all if it's like designated sides attacking each other. It's just not a free-for-all if it's done like that. Yeah, and I'm not even going to bother getting that chest, mostly because, like, there's no real point to. Hmm. Time to stab. Goodbye. Stab them all. Make them squeam. Through the power of squeams, we shall bleed. And we'll just be like this. Move up slowly. Suffer under the art artillery mages. How do you even block something like that? Oh no! Sniper magic from the ether! Is he gonna get hit all at once because he has abandoned his goals? That'd be kind of funny. He's like, the thief has decided to thief no more. He must die. And I keep forgetting to take soul off of frickin' Krom. Yeah. My brain. Memory no good, jot down thing. I need to do that, and then I don't. I'm very glad that I did a bunch of grinding to level everybody up, because I fear how these kinds of levels would go if I was not decently leveled. I would have to actually expand and use healing and stuff. Like, at least the other shenanigans I can kind of get, but it's just like... All of this? All of them? I diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly diddly dee. I diddly die, diddly da 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 die. And we're just gonna activate, well, go here, and then activate the Donald so that Gaius doesn't die. For principle. Um, again, imagine just like a Legolas type. Counter shot is like, I sense magic coming to get me. Curve the shot through the walls. <laughs> Leaving Plagia so soon. No, please, stay a while. Stay forever. You have made a very poor decision. That is a very big axe, though. That shoots fucking magic. No! Bye-bye. <laughs>
So is there like... Just... Uh, is there a spear that... Uh, well, I guess that's what the short spear is for range. Oh, and there's also the shock spear, I guess. There is electricity, magic spears, and swords and axes. Right. Almost there. The exit is just... Wait. Do you feel... What do... Is it my clone? No, it's Validar. Bastard! He talked to the handed Macrom! But I still want to know where's my doppelganger! Again, it could just be Grima. Grima's avatar voice thing. Pretending to be. Run all you like. You can't escape fate. Don't you know that? Father! The fire emblem. Give it freely or it will be taken. God. Just try it! <laughs> I won't need to do anything. Neon. Neon? Now seize the emblem and bring it to me. No, I... Ah! Are we gonna get a cutscene? Neon, what are you doing? Being mind controlled. <laughs> well done, my child. At last, the fire emblem belongs to me. And with my gemstone, it is complete. Now to set the table and perform the rites. Well, that's not good at all. Damn you, Velodar! Uh, yeah, what have I done? Neon, we must go. I'm, so Girl, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm so sorry. Listen to me. I know you are, but right now we need to focus on getting out of here. Yeah. Understood. And will, will Crom's like 3D like character model still have that? No, it's actually gone. Oh, but then again, we're not in a combat situation, so. But it's like, that would be hilarious if it was actually, actually gone. What I did, it's... It's unforgivable. It's all right. Enough of that, Neon. Save your energy for helping us track him down. No, I... You must leave me behind. You could use me again. I can't be trusted. This cursed blood in me must somehow give my father dominion over me. No. But he never had full control. You confided, Neon. And if he expects you to blindly obey, that might be the surprise we need. Crom, you... you put too much faith in me. Shall we Get back on that horse, Neon. You can't give up now. No. But you're not listening. I told you I'm not... Come on. The... <laughs> I don't think I've heard that voice line, or at least haven't listened to it. The deed is done, but you can still try to undo the damage. It's not too late. So Alright. I'll... I'll try. What do you know that we don't, Lucina? What do you know that we don't? That'd be an interesting twist if he could also control Lucina because... Same blood. Hmm. Mother. Beg pardon, Mother? Might I have a word? Oh. Lucina, what is it? Yes. It's about Father. I have memories of him, you know? From when I was little. Before he died. I see. Right. He was courageous and kind, and everyone spoke fondly of him. People say he was brave right up until the very end. I always yearned to know him better, and now that I do, I can see that the world will be robbed of a gr very great man. I won't allow that to happen. Are you going to try and kill me because I was the one who, because of premonition, I was the one that killed him? <laughs> I understand. You love him, as do I. I'm so sorry. Mother, I... Please forgive me. I knew it! You knew how he died and you came to... Okay. Forestall the future. Lucina? Stay where you are, Mother. I have no choice. I must kill you. Uh, what? What madness is this? In my future, you... You kill Father. What? No, that's insane! Why would I kill Krom? I was not certain myself, 
until now. I knew he had, had been killed by his closest friend. Having witnessed your bond with him, I doubted it could be so. But today's events make it clear. You are at Validar's mercy. I suspect it's he who forces you to take father's life and very soon. No. Lucina, wait. I if father is right, then we can change our fates. If this dark future is to be averted, sacrifices must be made. I'm sorry, Neon. Harsh. I know this is matricide. I, I know that. <clears throat> Lucina, you don't have to. Don't make it harder. It will be swift and painless. If you hold any love for Krom, then let this be done. Fuck! Like, of course it's probably gonna be like Emerin, but come on, man! Damn it! Oh! Why do you hurt me so? Oh! You hurt me! Game! Oh! Uh -huh. I accidentally hit my mic. Wah! Wow. It's playing the motifs. It's what? <laughs> like, again, it, it probably isn't like. It's probably like Immerin's fate. Like, oh, we will fight. <laughs> but, like, man. Who knows? Maybe I'll be forced to kill her. Because if I say no, do I have to kill her? If I say yes, do I die? Because these are characters that are, like, meant to stay around, but it is entirely possible. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because if I don't accept her judgment, I probably have to fight her. And then that just means that I might have to fucking die. So I... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man! I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to choose! I don't know what to choose! I don't know what to choose, man! Because if I choose to fight back, because I assume that if I have to, I, if I, I assume that if I choose no, that will fight. What do I do? And it's also the thing that technically, like, Morgan hasn't been born yet. Lucina, if you kill me, you kill Morgan. Lucina, why? This is harder than Emerin's because at least with Emerin's, it's like, we will fight. Oh. I... If you have any love for Krom... I have saves if I really hate the decision. I guess I could replay the past level. Mm. Fine then. I accept. Right. My life is yours. It always has been. Mother. Don't say that, Mother. Don't! That only makes it harder. <laughs> I'd give my life for Krom. And for you. Mother, Mother please. I know you'll be quick about it. I love you, Lucina. Why? Mother. I'm ready. Do what you must. I... I... Demi! I, I, I love you too much! I'm sorry, Mother. I'm so sorry. But 
please forgive me. Because <sighs> I'm just afraid that if I, I, if I actually fought back, or at least that's what I assume, if I denied the judgment. <laughs> oh, 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 that hurts my emotions. My poor girl. There's nothing to forgive. God! Are you done, Lucina? Father, I, I can explain. No need. You're not the only one who can eavesdrop. I heard every word. Lucina, I know your heart is in the right place. But I trust Neon. You cannot shake my faith in her. Neon, I, Neon and I have held fast through good times and ill. We swore to be two halves of a greater whole. You underestimate the strength of those ties. Those bonds we share. I believe in them more than some foretold destiny. Father. That is easier to say when you haven't seen it yourself. <laughs> Lucina, aren't our ties stronger here now than they were in your future? You said so yourself. In this flow of time, we are bound tighter than ever, you and I. Not as just father and daughter, but as friends. We can change things. We already have. And we will again. All right. Very well, father. I'm so Mother, I, I hope someday you'll find it in your heart to forgive me. And I pray, that is, I trust that both of you will prove me wrong. That the future will crack and fall apart before a family bond ever does. Ha! <gasps> Again? Maybe it would have just been like... Like, uh... Like Emmerin's choice, and it wouldn't have been anything like super crazy, but who knows? Like I said, we're probably nearing the end of the game. Maybe they would have had me. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh. Oh. Oh darn, it's not here either. Where can where can it be? Oh, hello, mother. Have you seen my dragonstone anywhere? Dragons don't? Or, no, not a clue. I have no idea. Nope, none whatsoever. You're a terrible liar. But I'm not lying. <laughs> all right, mother. What did you do with it? Nothing. I just decided to look after it is all. Give it back. Honestly, how am I supposed to train without it? Oh, training shmaning. Let's have some fun instead. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> I don't want to have fun. I want to get stronger. If I don't, I'll never w help win this war or earn my place in this army. Uh, if I'm not helping people, then what's the point of even having me around? No real human wants to be friends with a half-person who can't look after herself. Is that what you're worried about? But I'm here and I'm a Manakeet. You don't have to prove something to humans to be here with us. Manakeet, Togwell, human, everyone in this army is equal in it together. You truly believe that? Sorry. I do, and more importantly, you're still a very young for a Manakeet. You can't overuse the Dragonstone, it's far too powerful for one your age. Oh. It's true that after a day of training I tend to feel terribly weak. I'm going to give it back to you, but I don't want to see you hurting yourself. You must promise me to only use it during actual battle, do you hear me? Hey, Alright, Mother. I swear to use it more responsibly from now on. How oh, sweet! Now we have to keep, uh... Whittling away at that. But still, Jesus Christ, that was such a <laughs> ah! I don't like it when the game throws choices like that at me. Because it's just like, I don't know what will happen. I don't know how hard they'll go. Because, again, it is entirely possible that if I said no, I do not accept your judgment, that I would fight back and kill her. And I don't want that! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, luckily I did the anime thing and we were like, ah, oh, power of love and family. Ugh. Uh, the ta table approach. <laughs> Let's move on from that thing. Chapter 22, an ill passage. Or, an three passage. <laughs> Why does that look like a cross in the distance? All these strange travelers. What's happening here? Huh? Let's ask him. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir? The appointed time to the dragon's table. Our prayers, Grima. Right. I'll just speak back anyway slowly then. My lord. 
Sire. Hmm? Frederick, have the scouts returned? Ah. Yes, my lord, and with grim news. Valdar has moved to a great altar to Grima, known as the Dragon's Table. What's more, it seems all the Grimliel and Plegia are headed there as well. It's as if they're being drawn by some unseen force. What? Any idea what it all means? What can say? Who can say, sire? They speak only gibberish and plod on as if possessed. The cat- The Grimliel are the- uh, The Grimliel are the risen. More than likely, they are a sacrifice to Grima. All their souls will be fed through the Fire Emblem into Grima. Grima will come back. They will rise as the Risen. An army to take over the world. The Cataclysm in Lucina's future. This shows all the signs of leading to it. Damn. This destiny is a stubborn business. We cannot give up. Are you ready? And we will not. We make for this dragon's table and quickly. Come, everyone. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna fight a Versa! Draco? Moose? Canis? Porcus? Tigris? Equus? Anquela? Bovis? Ovis? Simia? Lepus? Gallus? Alright, that's not freaky at all. Alright, so Yar, Na, Pan. Noe, I would say everything is good. I'm still not over that choice the game threw at me. The Elysians have finally caught up to us, my lord. Delay them, but carefully. We must reclaim Neon's power. Ah, yes, don't worry. I'll take extra care with Daddy's special little girl. Valadar! Fools! Do you know where you've come? Return the Fire Emblem now and we can end this. <laughs> you would end this? What? Yes, once and for all. My dear boy, we already know how this story ends. You and I both. And yet you rush here. Are you so eager to meet the fell dragon yourself? Or perhaps your own fatal destiny? You would have that realized first. <laughs> to hell with your destiny! I'll write a new ending! Oh, so now you believe you can change fate? And here I thought your exalted sister had delusions of grandeur. What? We've done it already. Your victory over sad little Gangrel? Or perhaps Wallheart's defeat? Those were meant to happen. They were preordained. You're just another fool in Motley, capering on the stage. But what about Emmerin? You changed only the method of her death. Either way, she was planted in the ground. Explain. But not. But that was Gangrel's will. Not yours. Not Validar's. <laughs> you aren't listening. All of this, every word and action has been orchestrated. Gengrel held the exalt in contempt, yes, so Valadar and I used him, in life and death. The king's demise through Plegia into chaos had drove the people to Grima. Now their life force and rancor can be laid before the fell dragon in mass. You couldn't mean. It's called the table for a reason, you naive little man. It's where Grima feeds. The Grimliel have gladly offered themselves to him for ages. Even now they pray for his return. Today the table overflows with bounty and their prayers will be answered. I will never allow that to happen! <laughs> but it already has happened in our future. This moment was set a millennium ago. How could anyone give their life willingly to that thing? That monster? I will stop you. I will stop Grima! <laughs> Goodness. Now you're starting to sound like Walhart, the big bully. He intended to destroy Grima as well, you know. Our thanks, incidentally, for taking him off the stage for us. Really? Uh, that's why you gave us your ships and treasure, but no soldiers. Get rid of Walhart and keep the faithful Plegians to set your god's table. Now, Aversa, it is time. I must prepare. Why, As yes. you command, Master. Wait. Valadar. Valadar! <laughs> Don't 
Master Validar is not to be disturbed. But fear not. I have brought the dead lords to keep you entertained. These twelve generals were great warriors in life, and even greater now in death. I'll introduce them one by one, but, well, as you'll see, they're not much for talk. Besides, you'll meet them all soon enough. Hmm, I wonder if these guys, like, I don't know, were actually part of anything. But Jesus, 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 Jesus. Everything is bad, Dunny. Everything is very bad. Let's see. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, because there's no, yeah, no connection. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, just too far away. And stand here and protect. Make the generals come to us. Hell's walk. Wait, I wonder if you, like, it would be interesting if these guys were actually generals in previous games. Or hell, it would also be interesting if they... I keep forgetting to second seal Yan, and now I forgot. Nah. Oh, well. I'll need to remember it. These guys will come one by one to their death. Well, that's not good at all. But luckily, he'll heal! Ha 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 ha! Perfect! I didn't even need soul. And I got gung yeah. You picked a very bad person. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going to do that much damage to you. Jesus Christ! Thank you, Pan. Now that's strategy. And I got Volflame. You know what? Sure. Piggledy piggledy god. Eh, let's blast him. Not what I wanted, game. Oh well. I wanted to stay next to my allies, but the game decided no. Neat. It's not dead, though. Which just means that this can happen. Blast him away. Take care of these generals. Lay them to waste down beneath the dirt and sand. And once again, I love the backgrounds in this area. I'm gonna blast you with the magic I just got. Foul flame! Thanks. You fella. So many interesting attack thingies. Hmm, we don't really have much to attack him with. So how about you go up there and kill him? Time for a silver sword! God, that guy has creepy eyes. Huey, Huey indeed. Let's blast him with some arc fire. Game over. Game over. Hmm. 
And I guess we'll move up. Smack him with Falcon. Kill these generals one and all. Oh, these are all awesome weapons. Alms Blade. Time I actually use one of these. You're not even using legendary magic. Alright, everyone. Return to the main path. We have monsters to slay. Done it. Too far away. Come on! <laughs> Someone in that skirt waving around that axe is kind of scary. You come to face a king? Time for an Aether. Goodbye, Swordmaster. Are you a Myrmidon? Whatever. You're dead. Or is Swordmaster like the upgraded form of a Myrmidon? I don't know these Pokemon evolutions. How about we do away with Silver Sword? We have awesome shit going on here. Even that much. Almost. He's almost dead. You dare attack somebody you cannot even hurt? Die. Super die. We'll go ahead and blast this guy, because he's in the way and must die. Gotta make a god dragon. I love the, like, back and forth battles. They're so cinematic. But also dangerous sometimes. And you've just provided us with weapons to kill you with, my dear. And before I forget, let's go ahead and equip Balmung. So we can just, like, really stick it to you. And... Yeah, everything should be good. Everyone's in proper place. And... Anybody else? Nope. I 
guess just actually because why not are they do they feel far away because they're in the desert motherfucker fine she'll kill herself I guess stupid desert Go, great warrior. Uh, strike her down, I guess. <laughs> Looking for attention. One at a time, love. Technically correct, but you're still gonna die. I wanted Krom to do it, but oh well. Oh, you play rough. But the ritual has already begun. You are too late. Farewell. Perhaps we shall meet again? Oh, actually, I suppose not. <laughs> but I got a goddess icon, I guess. Damn, she escaped! Aversa wouldn't leave Valadar before he was ready, even with her wounds. His preparations must be complete. We must stop him. My future is upon us! It's all right. We will, Lucina. I swear to you, we will. And it just keeps going, and it just keeps going, and it just keeps going, and it just keeps going. Alright. Time for a super save time. Let's see. If I really like... Your S rank with Nah. Let's see. Nope. Nah, I... Ah! Whoa, hey, it's just me! It's Yarn! What's with the scream? Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Yarn. Are you still shook up from those dumb bandits? I've been wondering. I've heard that others say you've been jumpy lately. I can't help it. I know it's silly, but I still get nightmares. Crazy, right? I mean, I'm a manikeet. But now I can't even sleep without seeing kidnappers everywhere. It's stupid. I'm stupid. You're not stupid, nah. It was a terrible experience, you know. Have you talked to anyone else about this? I guess it's tough to come out and see a giant dragon is afraid of bandits, huh? Look, nobody would ever laugh at you for it, but I won't pressure you. However, I will promise to keep you safe. I'll stand guard by your tent if I have to. What? No one deserves to live their life in fear, no matter how strong they are. You really mean that? Mm -hmm. Of course, so rest easy. I'm here for you. That's so kind, I'm, I'm so grateful, but I can't ask you to. Hey, don't cry! It's just what you do for a girl that you love. Hmm? What? Hmm. It spooked me so bad when I saw them try to take you. I think that's when it hit me. I'd fight anyone to keep you safe, nah? I never want to lose you. Oh, oh Yarn, you're my hero. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I owe those bandits one. Oh, don't even... That's awful. <laughs> Funny to think about, though, isn't it? A cuddly bunny rabbit protecting a dragon. <laughs> 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 yeah, maybe just a bit. Aw, oh, come here, cuddles. They keep, they keep, they keep. It is good. It is magical. It is wonderful. I like. I like it. That is, because, like, Lucina and Yarns is good, too, but that one just is a, it's a, th it's a through, it's a whole thing, and it caps off the end, whereas the A rank between Lucina and Yarn, could it be the end there? The supports between Yarn and Na need the S rank to really pull together. Father. I don't know why, that's, that's such an odd soundbite. Father. Father, do you have a moment? Yes, of course. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get back on Project Get Memories of Dad back. Step one, figure out how we're going to trick some flashbacks. Well, I've already tried banging my head against a post, but nothing. I mean, it made me dizzy and nauseated, but it didn't unearth any hidden memories. Uh, what do you think, Father? Perhaps a stone wall would work better? Hmm. Let's just hold off on the head smashing for now, shall we? Perhaps we could, you could try just staring at me for a bit, right into my eyes. Yes. Ah, that's perfect! You're a genius! I must have seen your face a million times in the future. It's bound to bring something back if I stare at it long enough. Okay, sorry to invade your personal space here, but here goes. <laughs> this is not working! I don't remember a thing. It's like, have you ever stared at a word so long it kind of fell apart? And you think, is that how that's spelled? Wait, is that even a real word? Morgan, how dare you invade my mind? That is, that happens to me all the time. I look at a word and I'm like, wait a minute. Is that even the right word? Why does that word that's normal look so fucking weird? I can't believe it. <clears throat> how dare you invade me? How dare you focus a part of my personality into your soul? 
Except here, it's, is that what father looked like? All right. Perhaps that's enough of the memory project for one day. Sure, I'm still a little bit dizzy from banging the post earlier, to be honest. But this doesn't end here. I'm not giving up until I remember you, father. That's just kind of sweet. A bit insane, but sweet. Lucina and Crom A rank. Now. I'm ready for today's training, father. Listen. Before we begin, I have a question. What? Oh? No. It's something I've been meaning to ask for some time now. Once this war is over, will you be able to return to your own world? I don't know. Even if it were possible to cross the bounds of time again, my world itself may be lost. Naga said as much before we left. Good. I see. Yes. <laughs> Good! You can never go back to your world. That's a bad soundbite to put there, man. Don't worry, Father. Once peace is returned, I'll leave you to your life. What? what? Why? I understand I don't belong in this time. I'll not have myself become a burden. <laughs> Lucina! I never want to hear you say such a thing again. Huh? Father? Listen to me. I've told you before, you are no burden. You could never be a burden. No. But <sighs> I fear I'm not very adept at putting these sorts of things into words. But it's clear you need to hear something, so listen well. What? All right, I'm listening. Thank you. Lucina, I'm so very grateful for you. Grateful that you were born, that you grew into such a fine and noble woman. Grateful you withstood terrible hardship and risked all you knew to come here. I haven't the words to express that, how much it all means to me. None save thank you. Father. You're my daughter and my friend. You will always have a place at my side. <laughs> father, I thank you. Oh, Father. Shh, it's all right, Lucina. There, there. It's all right now. Daddy's here for you. That's sweet. But we didn't get to hear their fight for the secret, damn it. But... Before I forget, we got a second diddly dee, you guys. Not what I wanted to do, goddammit. Use! We're gonna turn you back into a tog wall. Because, fuck it, I like the tog wall. I like it being a pog wall. Pog wall, tog wall. Somebody in the family has to stay at Togwall. Wrong place. I'm dumb. I went on autopilot and my brain was just like, This is wrong. And of course, you stay a Manakeet. Because, like the dragon power. All right. Store, store. Take out a dragon stone. Let's see. Does anyone need more weaponry? Where's Naui? Naui up here. You don't really need another dragon stone. All right, then on we go to the table. The dragon's table, chapter 23. Chapter 23. Invisible Ties. Oh no, is this the goddamn place where we're meant to die? Are you ready, Neon? Crom, hey. first I have a favor to ask. As long as it's not a request to leave you behind. Yeah. It's not, though I did consider it. I can't hurt you if I'm not there in the first place, but... I can't run from Validar forever. And if I'm going to overcome him... My best chance is with you by my side. Good. That's more like it. All right. But therein lies the favor. If Validar somehow does gain control over me, promise me. Promise me you'll cut me down. <clears throat> you can't ask... You can't mean that. You can't ask that! Well. I'll resist him with all that I am, I promise you. But there are other people involved here. Too many people to ignore. You have a duty to protect them all as well. You're right. The words burn my tongue, but you're right. Right. But you mustn't let Validar seize control. Whatever it takes. Whatever the cost. Yeah. I'll try. You know I will. Scary music. <laughs> Validar! 
come to witness the glorious culmination of your failure? How nice. I have the fire emblem and the dragon's table is set for a feast. I will return Grima to this world. You'll destroy the world. Lucina has seen it. Then I pray today's spectacle lives up to her nightmares. The awakening rite is not only for exalts and naga, you know. With it, I'll rouse Grima. The fell dragon needs only a mortal vessel, which you so kindly brought along. Oh, gods, he means me. You can quickly, Neon. That's my girl. No, no never. I'll die first. No, you no. carry my blood, the blood of the fell dragon. His soul slumbers within you. And now the time has come to awaken you both. No. What? I'm Grima? I'm the Fell Dragon? The Grim Leal have worked for generations to create someone like you. A vessel worthy of our master. Simply having Grima's blood in your veins is not enough. My father was not worthy, nor was his father before him. Even I was not able to accept Grima's most sacred gift. But you... You had all the makings. You were perfection. No. If your damnable mother hadn't seized wick, if your damnable mother hadn't been seized by weakness and fear, she betrayed us, stole you away from your crib, and fled with you in the night. I know not of your life thereafter, but all that matters is your return. That you are here is proof of your purpose. It is why you still draw breath. But now this makes me wonder, who the fuck was the hero fant? Who was... Because... Was that just some kind of mind game by Validar? So... Yeah, he's my father. Apparently my mother stole away. Who's my mother, though? Is she not an important character at all? <laughs> Neon, we are going to stop this. This can be stopped. You can be stopped! <laughs> you may have killed me in some future past, but I'm stronger this time. With the power of the Dragon's Table flowing through me, I am unstoppable. You're not the only one stronger this time. Right, Neon? Neon? <laughs> Stay with me, Neon! You're not beholden to this fiend! You can fight it! We've all seen how strong you are! We've seen that you're capable of! Don't let him shake your resolve! Grom, I... I don't know... Enough! This sorry display ill befits the heir to our master's power. And you, Prince, your sad poem sounds lovely. But it will not alter destiny. They're more than just words. What? Be still now, my daughter. Right. My life did not begin with you. It began the day Krom found me in that field. I have been all over this world, and I have helped change it for the better. I have fought and laughed and bled with my friends, and that is what matters. The ties we forge, the bonds we share, they are of a power greater than Grima. Oh. A ludicrous idea as you will know better than anyone else soon enough. We can do it. We do agree on one thing. My life so far has all been a, in preparation for this moment. When I kill you or die trying! <laughs> <laughs> you have your father's courage, but your mother's judgment. Very well, pup. Come, do your worst. Come at me with all you have! There is no damage I can do to your body that the fell dragon cannot repair! Jesus. Oh, we're back here again, Billy. We're back in the hell! But he seems to be the same, but I'm super powerful.
And these are just grim leels. All right, then. Begin the fight! This is it. Our Not final fight. battle. You're one of us, Neon. And no destiny can change that. Now let's kill this dastard and be done with it. <laughs> so long as the dark barrier stands, no other soul can reach us. You must face your grim fate alone. We don't need that. All we need is to kill you. Let's see, who's stronger? Bring them low! Crush them all! We have a greater army here than we ever could have had in the past. Oh, Tiki's with us now. Bring them all tumbling down upon us. We will take their blades and bring them all crumbling down. The Grim Leel will fall. All of them tumbling down. Let them come. Let them try. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. The bonds that we... I just realized something. The bonds that we forge and share. They're the support system. Ha 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 ha. You're an amusing thing, video game. And of course I took you off your... thing. Luckily you can still dodge fire. Donald the God Slayer is here. He will help us all. Well, Worm Slayer. If I truly wanted, I could probably just wait and have... and wipe out the Grim Leal that are here, but it probably doesn't matter too much, because it's probably just a kill them kind of game. Kill Validar. Plus, we have Naga's voice with us. We can't lose. Blast them away one by one. Carve away at their soul. Once again, 3D space, that's just super cool. And you can just turn it off as an option. I understand when people are like, ah, I want to go fast. But it just looks so nice. Strike them down one by one. Beyblade time! Goodbye, Grim Leal. Keep striking them down. Through the power of the sun, Superman of Fire Emblem kills! Our unwavering god, Donald, who takes forever to level up, but god is he beefy. Strike down the mage. 
I don't think he does. But he'll take it anyway. Likely enemy will get a critical hit, but we'll just have to kill him before that. Ah, uh, yes. The most scary critical hit of one damage. He would, he would do three damage if he got a crit. How terrifying. Oh, no. That would be the worst. Strike them down, one by one. Thank God that you learned that lesson and didn't try to kill me. Oh, that's, that moment is going to live in my mind forever. It is going to fucking haunt me. Sure, Armor Slayer, kill him. Probably unnecessary, but uh, always nice to try and do things efficiently. There's a lot of Grim Leal. Well, let me guess, this is a... No, this is a route the enemy. Fine then, Validar. I'm gonna kill you with Valflame. That nice little thing that your general sent my way. Neon, why insist on these games? You only delay the inevitable. And besides, the alternative? Have you considered what happens should I fall? These followers of Naga will spurn you now that they've learned what you are. Kill me and you incur the wrath of the Grim Leal as well. Would you truly choose to be so utterly alone? Humans are weak, pathetic creatures. Your bonds with them will bind you. You are destined for a greater purpose. The greatest purpose. You are to be a god. Not your god. Not today. Goodbye. I just explode him. <laughs> Even this was meant to be. Damn you both. This isn't over. Damn you both! And am I gonna stab my boy? Don't w is it going to be a loop of eternal pain? Thanks to you, we carried the day. We can rest easy now. <laughs> no! No! No, no. Mother I am enraged. I am enraged. I am so angry. They literally just replayed the fucking thing. Promise me you'll escape from this place. Please. Good boy. Did I make a mistake? Was I not supposed to kill Validar until I killed all the Grim Leal? I am angry. I am angry. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. game they, they literally just replayed the cutscene <laughs> did I fuck up I don't know was there a secret kill all the Grim Leo that weakened him <gasps> and he's just standing there we killed him and now he's just standing there menacingly mmm 
No. Father, no! <laughs> With the five gemstones in hand, my magic knows no bounds. Neon is powerless to resist me. <laughs> Do you see now, daughter? Human bonds are leaves in the wind. They offer you nothing. This can't be happening. We're supposed to change this. Everything I've done is worthless. Nah. Basileo? Uh, what? You died in Vom! My dude? What? What? The hell it was. Huh? I, I know that voice. How are you alive? Don't you put any stock in this destiny hogwash. What he said! Let the dead whine about their fate. As long as I draw breath, I choose to keep fighting. That's what life is all about. It, w it was that a fake gemstone that you gave then? Con Basileo, I, I thought we all thought you were yes. worm food back in Valm. It almost went that way, but I scraped by thanks to you. I don't understand. Once I took a couple of hits from Walhart, I knew he was too strong for me. Normally, pride would have had me dead before I'd even thought twice about it. But your warning gave me the courage to be a coward. Ha <laughs> ha. I played dead like a big, bald possum. It wasn't hard, in truth I almost was dead. You saved my life, Lucina. Had you not said anything, I'd have stood my ground against that monster and died on the spot. Oh, Boss Leo. This does not matter! If you didn't die there, then you can die here! Right. Ha! You're no Walhart, Snake Eyes. Not as strong or even as clever. For example, you still haven't realized that you've been tricked. What? what? Neon predicted everything that would happen here. She saw it in a dream, saw this very fight with you. If you think... Guess what else was in the dream? The five gemstones. When Flavia gave my stone to Krom, Neon saw what fate had in store. She knew Krom couldn't bring the real gemstones here to Plagia. That would be like swinging a big juicy steak right in front of Justin's toppers. <laughs> a worthy bluff for Oxy fool, but ridiculous all the same. I've had your merry little band watch since Carrie and Isle. Your every move. So I know Neon hasn't touched the stone. She hasn't even been near them. You watched our party, yes. The members your men knew about. The live ones. But they weren't watching dead men, were they? They weren't watching me. I... no, that's not... Oh, <laughs> Looks like it might finally be starting to sink in. That is not possible! These have to be. They must be! Why? Because of destiny? <laughs> Neon had your destiny beat days ago, when she came up with this plan. The expression on your face. It makes all these long nights in hiding worth it. <laughs> Damn you! Damn you to all the hells! None of this matters. Krob is dead! Your fate is sealed! Grima will! <laughs> Krom, get up, my boy! Or that, that works. <laughs> yeah, yes, all oh, that is more good, yes! <laughs> the brilliance! But he said. Father, you're alive! Neon spared me. She weakened her magic just before the strike. Damn you all and your stones! I won't need them to kill you! Ready to end this, Neon? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready to see what our true future has in store. Anything we will. Change. Now. Together. You ready to fucking die? Or is he already fucking dead? <laughs> Krom, Neon, we're yours to command. Right. Let's put this dastard down for good this time. 
Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's kind of not good. Oh, what a brilliance. What a majesty. Oh, you hit me for one-two punch there, my boy. You made me think that everything was dead. You thought that, like, oh... Granted, a little bit clunky weird is just like she weakened her magic. But still, I'm gonna accept it. My boy's alive! And it does look like it probably should have I probably should have known right from the start that it was like, oh uh Oh he has a silver ball? Neat. But we'll stand together. Oh, this is just magical. And just to be sure. Oh, he, he's still in his, like, oh no, I'm going to die mode. Keep striking away. Cut them all down. You're going to get one hit off and it will kill him. But yeah, I, I, I always thought that it was weird that, like, he kept the frickin' diddly D. For like no real reason, he had. He's like, "Oh, I have the gemstone," or like, "I don't know where the gemstone is." But then he cans the gemstone off to Flavia, and I thought the uh, again, I thought the original idea was to give her uh, the jewel so that Flavia would run and not stay around and die. But little did I know that, like, I, the thing is, I don't remember at all ever the premonition being discussed. So it's just like, meh, 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 meh. Kill them all. Blast them all away. Can you shoot your bow while you jump? Because I did, and now you're dead, chump. You ready to die, Validar? And now we get to use Basileo and Flavia. Hell yeah. But that also means that they're weaker than I would like. And they're probably going to die right now because I'm a failure. Or did he just heal? Does he heal between fights? Please don't get hit. These motherfuckers, man. All right, at least we get to swap to Flavia. March on ahead. Hmm. Come, my Grimlil. Smite these infidels. Well, actually, we'll come down here. I'll smack you with a sword. We hit him with a sword. That's not really much strategy. And swap. I'm going to use my silver sword to strike you down. And you will. Let them come. Let them die. Even though there's probably going to be, like, uh, reinforcements coming, because considering there was a whole artillery line nightmare fest not too long ago, I honestly refuse to believe that there is, like, any possibility of there not being reinforcements bearing down on us. But who... With that reveal, we have to be nearing the end. But boy, am I loving it. I'm loving all of this. Yeah, let's go ahead and blast you. Little hero man. False hero, because you're working for Plagia. Bye-bye, Grimmy Lil. 
murder is wonderful. Now, come on. Time for crit power. Die. Goodbye, Silver Lance. You, can do it. My watch. you don't even have a watch. I wonder why a watch is called a watch. Like the one that you have on your wrist. Why is it called a watch? Do you watch it? Because you're too close to death, we'll have her take this guy on. As we march on to catch up and try to do things. Blast that little man away. Make him die. Make him scream. <laughs> and plus, this is very fitting. The voice of Naga is with us today to bring down, I guess, Grima, who could, I guess, on some level be called the voice of Grima. Say goodbye. One, two, three. You are dead. I'm gonna kill you with a silver bow. Lethality would be fun right now. Darn. No lethality for me. But at least now he gets to have some fun. Murder. Gonna blast away at you. Say goodbye, little Grimlil. Annihilation for the Grimlil. Go ahead and strike you down, just get you out of the way. <laughs> ah, but what wonders and nicety. What utter oblivion for my foes. And I suppose one thing that I'll do is separate so that... The whole family can get on the murder. Damn it, I messed up the thing. Oh well. I was placing them along, along, along the, the wrong place. Because my brain just was like, ah, fill in the shape. So we'll just annihilate them one by one, get them out of the way. I I think every single time Donnie has attacked today, he has gotten at least one crit. Blast these reinforcements from attacking us from behind. They'll never be able to eat you because they are dead. And Nas just leveling up like crazy. Might as well grab 
another shiny while we're here. Go ahead and end. They'll all try to march forward, but they won't be able to do anything as their master is slaughtered. Come on, Krom. Let's slaughter him. <coughs> Fools! Destiny cannot be unraveled! Say goodbye. Where's your destiny, Validar? No. <laughs> All wrong. We've killed you like three times. Four times if you count the premonition. Stay dead. Now let's deal with the oncoming horde. Use that big ass sword. Murder them all. Gotta get blasting. Blast them all away. Man, they're just sending Grim Lil after Grim Lil after Grim Lil. Haven't they realized their boss is dead? Gone forever? Come strike. Come die. If you... I wonder. If you have like a zero attack point, but you have a chance to hit, can lethality proc and instantly kill somebody even if you would otherwise do no damage whatsoever? Because I think that would be fucked. I'm going to strike you down. Aether time! Blast away. A dragon eating all these armored guys. Blast away. And now it's the Grim Leal who are fighting against fate. Even though a lot of them are probably pseudo-risen anyway and under control. Aha! Why? Why would you squander your birthright? Isn't that a game? Or is that like a... Yeah, I think that's Fire Emblem Fate's birthright, right? <laughs> no, that's the next game, silly. Neon, my daughter! We did it! We did it, Neon! We've altered our destiny! We... We've won. Except this motherfucker. Of course... Yeah, I... I, I, I was beginning to wonder just like... That... Like... What was it, like, big-lipped alligator moment of just like, Hello, here is uh, someone who looks like you. <laughs> and now they will not appear for, like, d d 15 chapters. You. Yes. You may have altered the course of history, but not its destination. <gasps> what do you mean? It's still written that Krom died here at your hands. Or perhaps, to be more precise, mine. What? Who are you, really? I told you, I'm Neon. The Neon that murdered you and became the fell dragon Grima. When this Martha of yours decided to come back in time, I came with her. What? Another version of me? But how? Why? Uh, I can be so daft sometimes. It's really quite simple. I'm you. Our only difference is the decisions we've made. Those vivid dreams you have, those are my memories. 
We share those memories because we share the same heart. Grima's heart. No. The, the headaches, the voices. It was you! Yes. Your recollection begins the day I entered this world. I intended for us to unite them, the first moment I found you. But your heart was still too weak to contain Grima's power. The shock of my attempt wiped your memory clean. <clears throat> huh. But then that means that in the past timeline, you fought Validar, killed Validar, but then killed Krom. Huh. If I knew, I knew if Lucina managed to rewrite history, Grima would never be resurrected, and in turn, I would cease to exist. So I had to step in now and again to keep my future secured, like when Validar was killed in his attempt to assassinate Emmerin. But that was in the past now. We have our future past to think of. All that remains is for you to become Grima as I did. Then you and I will become as one, and we can reclaim my power. We are not yet the same? Yes. You were supposed to choose godhood over your pathetic band of servants. But if you'll not claim the sacrifice laid at the dragon's table, I will claim it in your place. What? What? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the fell dragon and I are one. And though my journey through time has diminished my power, the life force here shall renew me. Well, that's not good at all. Strike her down now. Never mind. She's transforming. Well, at least we have answers for what the fuck she is. Ah, anime is fuck lightning. Oh! Whoa! How are we supposed to fight that? How did you get out of the tower? Did you become lightning? Jesus fucking Christ. Right. Now what? Yeah, now what? Well, fun times! Awesome art, but oh, no. that's Grima. God, no. That's the demon who destroyed my world. And now he's among us. <laughs> the terrible size of it. Gods! For once the legend spoke true. We can't face him, not in a straight battle. He'd kill us all! Still. If, we on if only we still had the Fire Emblem. We could ask Naga for her power. Then at least we'd have a chance. <laughs> but Validar took the emblem. <clears throat> and was lost inside the dragon's table. I know. What, you mean this Fire Emblem? How did I get it? <laughs> the emblem, but how? I stole it from you once, remember? At least I could do is steal it back. Ha! <laughs> True. Dear fucking God. Neon, you sly cat. You never cease to amaze. Well, I am a cat. On the internet, at least. Quickly now! We must complete the awakening before Grima catches on! It said the first exalt paid tribute to Nog at a site in Mount Prism. Really? Do you know where exactly? Of course. Yes, there's an altar at the peak of the mountain. If my lord will perform the awakening, it must be done there. Hmm. A small hope is better than no hope at all. Hurry, everyone! How would you even outrun that thing? It's friggin' massive! We're gonna go over the uh, fucking half the world, half the continent. Oh, well, that's just dandy. <laughs> yeah, because I was just going to go, like, hmm, I should go and check out the... The diddly dees. Give me those beast stones. Give me those dragon stones. Why do you have that? Oh. No, that was, that was the wrong thing entirely. And Tiki, you can have even more Dragonstone Pluses. But yeah, we are totally getting near the end. I don't think we'll need more. Alright, then again, how the hell did we go across half the world? We'll do supports and then we'll move on. Um, Morgan. Hmm? You know what I'm about to say, don't you? Um, be sure to wash Falcon after I'm done cutting this apple? Don't use Falcon to cut apples in the first place, you dolt! Hey, sorry, I'm sorry! You'd best be more than just sorry. 
That sword is the national treasure of Elise, an unfindable memento of my father. Would you use the last earthly remembrance of your dead father to cut fruit? You've shamed the weapon that built your very homeland. And technically he is, yeah, sh sh shaming the final memento of his father too. Simple. Well, you've seen for yourself how big the apple is and with no other knives around. But besides, I barely even ever, got, ever touched the thing before. I don't know, I, I got curious. Well. So, um, are you, yeah, you're mad. Huh? You've never held Falcon before? Oh. Not really, no. In the future, you always kept it by your side. And since we've been back here, I've maybe moved it from tent to tent once or twice. What? And we don't know if you have the potential to wield it. Huh? Wait, it takes a special person to use it? Yes. I see, there's much you do not know. This blade was forged with Naga's power and steeped in the Exalt's bloodline. Only a select few are able to wield it, even among the Elysian royal house. Huh, well I've never fought with it before, at least as far as I can remember. I suppose that means in the future I came from, I wasn't deemed worthy. No. That's not necessarily true, Morgan. I never did give you a chance to try it before I traveled back here. Honestly, I'm mortified we've come this far without ever putting it to the test. What? I have to admit, it'd be pretty amazing if I could really wield it. A brilliant tactician wielding a legendary sword. Mother would be so proud! Wow. Mostly, I'm ashamed I never stopped to consider it. If you are, in fact, among Falcon's chosen, that is, a, a, that is a knowledge we need. There may come a time when it proves necessary for you to take it up. <laughs> what, like if you're busy? Yes. Like if I'm dead, Morgan. Having someone able to wield it af even after I'm gone would be a considerable asset. We must use any means at our disposal to ensure the future is saved. Uh, let's go put it to the test. Huh? Morgan? No. Ah, forget it. There's no way the sword would choose someone like me. What? You don't know that until you try. You yourself just said you wished you were able to wield it, so let's... What? I said no! I'm not doing it! Don't make me. Don't make me practice for your death, Lucina! But don't you see? I understand how you feel, but... We must be practical about this. We cannot afford to lose this war no matter what happens or who dies. I... You think I don't know that? But it's not... It's just not that simple, all right? Think of all that Mother's doing to protect us. Would you betray that? No, wait. Not by choice, Morgan. Never by choice. But there are no guarantees in war. <laughs> and that's supposed to make me feel better? If it means you dying, I don't want anything to do with Falcon. If you make me try, I'll only use it to chop up more apples, so there! This is pointless, I'm leaving! Morgan. Sure is stuck up- uh, stuck on this whole apple business. <laughs> exactly! He is a weird little man. Yeah. Hey, Jerome. Spending some quality time with Minerva again, are ya? What? Why do you insist on following me everywhere? No. Ain't nothing as sinister as your tone implies. I can promise you that. I just wanted to talk about our relationship again, about being father and son. Now that I've seen your sensitive side, I thought we might... I have no sensitive side. Yeah. All right, but remember when you said Minerva was a cutie-poo? That look of love that flitted across your face is so tender and sincere, I... Minerva attack! Rip his lying of fa... <laughs> lying face off of his fat lying face? <laughs> Minerva attack! Rip his lying mouth off his fat lying face! Uh, Minerva? Minerva would never attack me, Jerome. She has some family. Hey there, little Minerva. You remember old Vike, do you? Minerva? Do you truly consider this buffoon part of our family? I see. Very well, Minerva, if that is your wish. Right. Uh, what did Minerva say? <laughs> you claim to be part of the family, but you can't understand her. Uh, well, it's an acquired skill. <sighs> it matters not. Minerva says you are family. And I am thus duty-bound to accept you. I'm... I'm sorry I treated you poorly. Father. What? Did you just call me father? Huh? Don't get used to it. Minerva to me! We're leaving! Hey. Wait, Jerome! Son, say it once more! Say it in front of Krom! Uh, enough already! <laughs> I love that immediately, Vike went to say it in front of Krom. Oh, hey, these guys. Alright. Moho! Who is this lovely young woman? Perhaps she's seeking companionship. Here's what I was thinking before I recognized it was you, Flavia. Bah! Yes, I thought, who is this sad, crusty old man? Perhaps he's lost and confused. Before I heard, heard the tired buffoonery and recognized it was you, Boss Leo. Old man! Old! <laughs> Bald and grizzled on the outside, yes, but inside beats the heart of a man half my age. Oh my. That act may work on the others, but I know you too well, Oaf. Isn't it time you dropped the charade and started acting your age? Oh, damn it all. I suppose you've got a point. 
I'm old enough to grandfather half the whelps in this army. No. Did you know the youngsters have taken to calling you Gramps? Why the arrogant little? In my day, we had respect for our elders. Not one of those pups would dare face this Gramps in a battle arena, I'd wager. <laughs> Assuming you can still find your way there. Memory is the first to go, you know. You're no spring chicken yourself, woman. But is assuming you are a woman. I doubt anyone's ever managed to prize you out of that armor long enough to find out. Speaking of equipment, have I shown you my new sword? I'm told it's sharp enough to slide through mail. Maybe it's time I tested it on you. Have care where you swing that thing. You'll cut an ear off. I came here to consult with a fellow leader, not to be threatened by a mad witch. What? Consult with a fellow leader? You? <laughs> That's rich. Ogre's teeth. Why do I even bother? I give up. Goodbye. Uh, oh, wait, Basileo, stop. I promise. Basileo? I'm not curious. I wonder if he truly had something to discuss. They are a silly bunch, aren't they? And they're just part of my army now! Neat! Now let's go to Rainbow Mountain. And, and see. This is Awakening Roll Credits, Chapter 24. Chapter 24. Awakening. How did we outrun that motherfucker? It's beautiful! The divine dragon's power flows through every blade of grass here. Quick, turn them all into falcons! Wait, something doesn't feel right. Uh, we must prepare for battle! Grima sent servants here, I can sense it! They'll be on us soon! Now we get to fight in a big ol', big ol', big ol'. So once again, it's just a big ol' open plane with a boss monster that's gonna run at us. Alright then, select units. Gaius will take you out and put somebody else in. Who, I don't know. So many characters that I just stopped using. So many poor characters that I just never bother to use. I'll bring Sumia just so that we have somebody that can help others fly across the land. Alright. Now we just need to decide to pair who to who. I guess these two can pair together. Hmm. Actually, we'll pair these two together. Pair Gnaw with Donald, because why not? Or, hmm, actually, we'll pair Gnaw with Tiki, because why not? And then Morgan can go with Krom. And yeah, just generally. Let's march across this land. Fight for power! How could Risen infiltrate this sacred place? Their power must be linked to Grimas. We must destroy them! I'm not afraid to march. Come up here and smack this man with a silver sword for maximum damage. Backflip out of the spear range and ape of this man into the waterfall. Why don't we? Imagine if there were special animations for kill, like crits of kills or kills of crits. You like just bat them into the goddamn way. I think that would be hilarious. We 
march together. Man, let them come marching at us to die. Smack this armored man to death. Of course you are. You are a grand warrior who will save the world. That's a weird position to take, but all right. Every walk. How dare you attack the rabbit man with baloney? Slice this man with a silver sword. Of course they are. I taught you that. Well, actually, let's throw the master key. Who needs keys when you have thieves, am I right? Finished indeed. Hey, remember that time you tried to kill me? That was fun. You stabbed the rabbit boy. Stab him back. Become an overwhelming god. Trying to maneuver around the terrain. Adorable. I'm going to stab you now. Stabity, stabity. Kill them all, blabity. The ultimate family fun time murder. Strike down this horseman. Indeed. I wonder in universe what a crit is. I keep forgetting that you can do that. I keep forgetting that Gale Force is a thing. Like, honestly, I keep freaking forgetting. Well, I have Falcon that does bonus damage against freaks like you. Amazing that with the Silver Sword, without any, like, bonus applications, he would have survived with one hit. Falcon, bonus damaged him to death. Utterly amazing. I'm going to stab you. Severely. He will not. Got a Thoron. Keep marching forward. Draw them into death. You hit the girl. Kill him. How dare you hurt the child from the future? Oh, neat. I don't know. I, I forget what that skill is. It's been so long since we actually acquired a new skill. You have made a very poor mistake, I believe. Time for murder. It's just bloody murder under a rainbow. You have made a very poor decision, and unless I miss that 7%. Never mind, Na decided to make up that extra. I wonder why Dragonstone Plus and Beaststone Plus are so late into the game. Why it takes so long for them to show up. We'll come here and... Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. We'll murder you normally. Bye-bye. Toodaloo. 
I still don't know where all the Risen came from overall. Did they all come from the future? I wonder. Who knows? That's another thing. If they could harness Naga's power to go back in time, how couldn't they use Naga's power to, like, not do that? Murder time. And we'll blast you from over here. Summon the power of the dragon. Again, <laughs> fitting that we brought the voice of Naga with us. Even though she is... I just forgot I haven't equipped uh, other people's stones. He's been using the normal stone this whole time. Poor boy. March all you want. You will not kill us. Oh no, the 11 damage, no chance to hit. The most terrifying thing. Is this a route or kill the boss? It is a route. Hmm. But fine then. We'll come over here. And we'll take your castle, so you will stop spawning so we can properly route you. I shall explode you to death. Imagine getting exploded, and while the explosion is still going on, somebody charges through the explosion and stabs you must really suck to be you. Huh, ah, that's odd. I'm sure we'll hit it. And if not, ooh, spicy. Damn it. Spice has come back to hurt my soul. Let's give you a chance. Smack him with a sword. Why not? Let's start leaving him alive. Man, he must have really hated that Risen. Activated everything, called him an amateur. And then we'll just come down here and we'll stab you. If we have a lance, I'll lance you to death. Let me lance you a question. Get it? Because he uses axes, but he's using a spear right now. Which is a lance. I wonder if there's a specific difference between a spear and a lance. Oh, hey! You attack somebody who can murder you. Good for you. Angry that somebody took you spot in the castle. I'm trying to take over this castle. Please die. I want to take the castle. Please die. I shall explode you from afar. Please die. Explosion! That's it. I'm like frickin' Kimbley. 
from Full Metal Alchemist. I'm causing just explosive death wherever I go. I'm gonna kill you for my new beast stone. It changes nothing, but just does more damage. She is your race. She's your mother. Which I guess technically counts because for your species to continue, she had to like, give birth to you, but still, you're making this weird, man. Fine, I'm just, I'm gonna end it. Shoot him. Naga, nemesis, you will never. Does it look like I care? Shut up and die. <laughs> Slowly flies over, stabs, flies back to block flying tomahawk. Never. Good job, Vike. You saved the day. And apparently we still gotta murder all these motherfuckers. Please die. Thanks. I wonder if they eternally respawn and I have to actually strategically kill them and place somebody on top to keep them from spawning, or, or do they just have a set amount of spawns? Or do I just have to get lucky and, like, uh, kill them all before any more spawn so that it counts as all of them being gone? I could see any of those being a possible answer. We have committed murder together. I'm gonna stab you to death with my big ass sword. Come on and fight me! Maybe if they all died along too, the match will end. Damn it. But it does look like they're done spawning at least. Although that would still be a hilarious, like, condition for a map for them to just never tell you that enemies will continuously spawn from these castles, these forts, and you have to wipe the map clean of enemies. I think that would be an interesting thing. Probably very annoying, but amusing. We all fight on the same cliffs. I just now the image, the idea of like everybody risen and shepherds just like waiting in line was just like my fight with you is next on the cliff of death. Booyah. It's basically a shiny, happy version of the Table of Grima. Understandable, they're twin dragons of evil and good, but whatever. We've made it. The altar. Wait here. I'll be back. Be careful, Krom. We must believe in him, Aunt, Aliss <laughs> Aunt Lissa. Do we just hear his screams from off screen? As he goes through it. Hear me, Naga. I bear proof of our sacred covenant. In the name of the exalted blood, I ask for the divine dragon's power. Baptize me in fire that I may become your true son. Nice smoke effect that was going on there, too. 
Oh, we actually gonna see you? <laughs> what she said. I'm I'm all right. Be welcome, Awakener. What she said. Your heart has been tested and deemed worthy. Cleansed in my fire, your desire has proven to burn the stronger. Then you will grant me the power to defeat Grima? The power of a god? Yes, yes but know this, I am no god. Huh? But milady, you are the divine dragon. Indeed. So do sons of man name me. But I am no creator. I possess not the powers of making or unmaking, and neither does Grima. Neither of us bears the power to destroy the other utterly. Still. Then what power can you grant me? With my blessing, thou may draw forth Falcon's true might. The blade of the exalts shall again strike like the dragon's fang. Your strength will then be my equal. But not strong enough to destroy Grima. Alas, Grima cannot be slain. Sleep alone can be your victory. Just as your ancestors put the fell dragon to sleep a millennium ago. But you must weaken him first. Only as the final blow can this power be used to bind his. Isn't there any way to destroy him for good? There is, perchance, a power that could end Grima. However, it would be his own. I see. He has to kill himself. Yes. yes, and never would he do so of his own volition. What about me? I could do it. Hey, Krom, give me Falcon. He seeks only to add to his power and set ruin upon the world. Now come, there is little time. Listen. Where is Grima now? To the west lies a volcano known as Origin Peak. You shall find the fell dragon there. You got the exalted falcon! Neat! So... Risen and shopkeepers disappearing, yes, yes. So, I'm going to feel that this is a 25 to 26 chapter game, then. First things first. <laughs> barracks. Let's go to the barracks. You know. Oh, well, at least it's fitting. I stayed up on some practical combat strategies. No one will die on my watch. That's hilarious. And Na and Tiki. Let's listen. Hey, Tiki, there you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nah, here I am. So, Could you do me a favor? Yes. If I'm capable, then of course, what do you need? So, I, uh, I actually want you to tell me about something. Huh? What specifically? Trust me. Well, about when you were young, a long, long, long time ago. People say you were alive back during the Age of Legends, right? Well, I'm curious about history, Manikeet history especially. How did our kind live back then? Listen. Ah, yes, you have Manikeet blood in your veins. Mm -hmm. I do indeed. You have the blood, yet you are not a true member of the tribe. Harsh. Huh? But, but I'm just like you, aren't I? Well. Throughout my millennia of life in this world, every Manikeet has been of pure blood. Until you. You are unique, the first of our kind to have a human father. I can tell you our history, though I doubt it would mean much to you now. Ooh. That's not fair. I have the right to know even if I'm not a full-blooded Manikeet. No. I don't mean it like that. You are a unique existence, the likes of which have we have never known before. Our story may be difficult for you, painful even. Are you sure you wish to hear it? <laughs> yes, yes I am. I see. Then I shall tell you the tale someday, but not today. Hey, I, I understand. Thank you, Tiki. At least she was kind of, like, level about it. It's just like, you are unique, so technically our history isn't, like, fully going to be relevant to you. But still, she kind of started that in a bad way, kind of just like, ew, half-breed, but I shall quickly refill on water, and then I'll come back and see if this is the end or not. It, it feels thematically like it would be. Again, don't know where else there would be for uh, levels, <laughs> but okie dokie. I shall return shortly. Water has been attained, so now let's go again. I highly doubt they're going to eke out even more story. Like, the closest I can think of is maybe a Versa. Because she fucked off to somewhere. But the fact that Validar is dead. We have awakened the Exalted Falcon. Let me just make sure. 
Exalted Falcon. Equip. What about you? Parallel Falcon, but not Parallel Exalted Falcon. You've been <laughs> skimped out on. Wouldn't that technically prove that, like... I don't know, it's just like, prove that changing things here wouldn't change things for the future world? I would cease to exist, would you? Evil me, Grima, but either way, let's move on and murder! Chapter 25, To Slay a God. Well, we're technically putting it to sleep. In the form of a sword lullaby, but hmm. Origin Peak. The fell dragon is indeed here. Remember, Awakener, the power I gave you cannot destroy Grima. I see. It can only put him back to sleep. Correct, fell blood. Harsh! So you know of my lineage? Correct. You possess power not so different from my own. We must find some way to break this unholy cycle. We can't just keep putting Grima back to sleep every few centuries. Otherwise, we merely will his vengeance on our descendants. I may know a way. Hmm? Yes, Neon? You have a strategy? Yeah. The other me claimed the dragon and I were the same, yes? If I strike the final blow, he'd be killed by his own hand. Really? Neon, ingenious! Naga, will it work? <laughs> Perhaps, but there will be consequences. Grima's heart and Neon's are inexox inexorably linked. Dragon and woman can no longer be separated. Therefore, slaying Grima would also cause the end of Neon's life. I realize that. I'm ready. There is a chance you could survive, but it is small indeed. You have bound your heart to those of many others in this world. If those bonds prove strong enough, they may yet keep you in this reality. However, not even a thousand human friendships surpass the dragon's grip. In truth, you will almost certainly cease to exist. Neon would cease to be? No. We'll find another way. Crom? Crom, wait. You're not thinking clearly. Think about what your sister would have wanted. Emeryn would never have asked you to do this. What is one life when weighed against millions? Listen to me. Stop it. You're one of us. You'll always be one of us. There has to be another way. We just have to find it. Promise me, Neon. Promise me you won't do this. Ah! Third decision. Like, what would happen if I chose, like, said, oh, yeah, I promise not to sacrifice myself, but then I do it anyway. But it's just... <laughs> man, you hurt my soul, man. Because Naga just said there's a chance that I could survive. So it's just like, yeah. Ma, ma, ma. And technically, I already was willing to sacrifice myself. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't promise that. I can't promise that I don't think. Because what is one life weighed against a million others? Like, I'm sorry, Krom, but it's just like, food. Don't you know? I can't promise, man. I. If we find another way, sure, but if it's the only way to put Grima down forever, promise to not sacrifice yourself? No. I'm so sorry. You have been so very kind to me, Krom, always. But this is my decision. Neon. <laughs> the time for deliberation is over, Awakener. The Grim Leal have found us. Father! Father, we're under attack! Can't promise. Let's view the map. So it's basically a charge. Oh. A split mountain range. And then, are you motherfucker back again? Alright, we need to choose, like, uh, teams to go right and left. Playing wacky music again. Obviously, we'll go together. Let's see.
Peaky and Nah. Or actually. Bobbity 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 bob. Because how many units do we have on. We have 15, so it'll be odd no matter what. Well, we'll just start, uh. matching people up. Fight! Really now? What she said. Still at your little schemes. Butchering Validar wasn't enough. Do you see what your great struggle has won you? Nothing! Master Grima has returned. The world's fate is sealed. <laughs> or perhaps you simply seek a tender embrace here at the end. Hmm. I'm not completely cruel, you know. Come, I have a kiss for each of you. Heed Be me. swift, Awakener. Grima's servants will harry you to the very last. You must reach the dragon before it is too late. Very well, then. Then let's go. Let's not keep them waiting. So I guess these three and extra and these three will split up. Strike them down. Oh, it's glowing. It's so cool. Get exploded. Blast away. I love the battle music when you're in the 3D area. I'm sure we'll get the crit. Look at that. Bow! I had to glance to make sure I actually unpaused the recording. If it wasn't on pause, I would have cried. Since you can't get into battle zone, place them there. And we'll blast you. Take him out to a ball game. They can harry us, but we can harry them too. I have an axe, and you have a head to split. Die! Free for all! Shoots at somebody he was already the enemy of. Not really a free for all, bro. Motherfuckers sniping mages. I wonder if there are any mana keeps in Fire Emblem Warriors. I also can't wait to get to it. But I still have fates to go through. Attack all you want, Grimly Hills. You shall die all the same. Booyah. Come fight. Come die. Come get crit in the head by a pegasi.
And plus, this will free people up to kill the sniping mage. Indeed, it has. Violently. Right. We have the power of the dragon sword. And maybe we'll just outrun the griffins, or they'll get to us and die eventually anyway. Meh. I'm gonna stab you now. Maybe I'll take that lemon sword and use it for myself! Are you done? Well, he's dead. We'll throw away the seed of trust, aka by putting it in a place. We'll stand beside you. I'll stab you, just to get the sniping out of here. Thank you. Booyah! <laughs> Single health. Oh, game, it's been a while. We'll save that just in case. Blast that man. You're a giant dragon. Fear no one. I forget, are you using Dragonstone Plus? No, you're just using normal Dragonstone. I keep failing you. I keep forgetting to give people the good weapons. I'm a failure. I did it again! I was talking about it. I moved somebody. Ugh. I am agony. I am pain. And we'll move back just so that we can provide support. You cannot hurt the boy, he is immortal. If that hurt, if that hit, I would have been so sad. <laughs> All of them are going for the poor boy. He is just a poor boy. Please do not murder him. Ah, you have come to die. Time to be exploded, turkey. Fly and die. Die, fly. Murder of the most magnificent griffins. They keep going for Jerome. They keep going for Jerome! Motherfucker. Of course that one hit. Let's see. There we go. Now face an even greater dragon stone. I went, I bought all of those amazing stones, and then I just didn't fucking give it to them. Dragonstone Plus. Be annihilated. <laughs> Seeing him scurry so fast to murder is hilarious. We have come to murder you. Hmm. Take care of this guy. Great Aether!
Your screams sustain me. We'll swap to take out these guys. Give Jerome a break since he's been murdered lies a lot. Let's get rid of you, just cause. You did a lot of damage and now you must suffer. Your Excalibur will harm no one no more, Grim Lil. <laughs> yeah, let's not use the Leaven Sword. It is completely worthless to me. Sure, keep attacking the Barbarian Man. He'll come murder you soon, Babu. Stay calm. <laughs> Stay calm. They're may they may be sniper mages, but their aim is shit. Oh yeah. Not half bad. He can do it. You can summon lightning, but soon you will die. Blast away at this little man. This little Robin Hood little man. Blast him. He dare runs up upon us to die. Then we shall let him die. You can go there, heal up. We'll go ahead and blast you, because you're in the way. Still a funny line. I killed a guy and took his wallet. And we'll blast this guy and take his wallet too. It'll have nothing in it but pictures of his dead family, but still. His wallet will be mine. Oblivion comes for you all. Come on, fight! Fight and die for my amusement! You can't even hurt the dragon. You dare to try? Once again, you can't even hurt the dragon. Bye bye! The dragon just continues to rise in power, and you seek to stop them? No. I shall throw a spear at the man who dodged magic lightning. I am intelligent. <laughs> Again, it's such a visceral explosion, I love it. Your explosion pales in comparison. Come on, harry us some more so we might destroy you all. I'm here to kill you. Be gone. I'm here to kill you a lot. Don't worry. Teach is here to send you to Turkey. <laughs> hmm. I 
Well, we do have Falcon. Even if it's not the Exalted Falcon. But it is amusing. We have two Falcons. What does this mean for the world? They are basically two unbreakable swords. And now one is uber-charged again. Hmm. Well, you kind of scare me. So, I'm gonna blast you. Take that hammer and get out of here. Almost <laughs> gave her a normal dragon stone to use instead. That would have been a foolish move. Stab with a killer lance. Be gone, fake mage. I find it funny that I made her into what she is for the magic capability, but then it's just like, eh, <laughs> that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna stab you from behind. Imagine if positioning like that actually mattered. Like if you uh, flank, you get bonuses. Who knows, maybe that happens in like the 3D games where you can actually tell where their back is. Let's see. Are you a run to murder? You are not, so. We will run to murder instead. Now come and die. Your green flippity flu will do nothing to me. Get Ignis, you fool, Grimlal. Die to petal blossoms. Oh god, they're smart now. He's like, he can't attack me because he has a bow. <laughs> Oh no, Rex Scalibur has come to strike again. Also, that's kind of amusing. Ah yes, the most effective reinforcements. Slow knights through forest. Don't send flyers who can go super fast. Strike down this little man. Why could he not attack? Did he break his book? I'm going to assume that he broke his book. Because why not? allies uh, begin to gather. We shall annihilate you quickly. And send our dear exalted boy off to kill Aversa once and for all. Although I'm beginning to realize why they kept Dragonstone Plus for where they did. It's badass. Yes, yes, march, march. March, 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 march. Uh, looks like you guys are going to be too late. Crom, time to murder. Murderers, you'll pay for taking Master Validar from me. Ready? And you'll pay in your blood for what you've done to this world. Ah, finally, sweet death. Finally, the pain 
Finally, it ends. What even was your deal? Like, why did you support the motherfucker? Exactly. Higgledy piggledy higgledy dee. And what is with your pain? But I got your Goetia. I'm never going to use it because I don't have a good dark mage. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yikes, what was that? The dragon's call. That's way too many teeth, man. It's like its jaws unhinged. Grima! It's all right. We can defeat him. My lord, how does a man challenge a mountain? Where would what even strike? The fell dragon has a weakness on the nape of his neck. Like a titan? But that weakness will be guarded by his servants. I can send you onto the dragon's back, but the rest is in your hands. Right. Then please, my lady, and quickly, we would ask no more of you. Everyone, gird yourselves. One way or another, this ends here. Is he not going to notice us on the back of his neck? So that's how they add another point to the map. End game. End game, huh? We'll do our final supports then. Spinning backslash coming at you! Yeah! yeah Sweet old goodbye, that was well evaded! You're a quick little bugger! Idiot, you nearly removed my head! No, no, don't get your small clothes in a twist. I was just testing you is all. What? Testing me? <laughs> That's right. And you'll be pleased to know you've met, nay, exceeded expectations. You can be my squire and pupil, and I'll see if I, if I can't make a real warrior out of you. Hmm. I'm going to assume this is just an elaborate joke. Anyone? Come on, what do you say? You can be my right-hand man. God, he's serious. I have no desire to be a pupil, fool. Sure you do. Everyone does. No need to play hard to get. Such persistence. Very well, if you defeat me, I'll consider it. <laughs> but you haven't had any training yet. It wouldn't be fair. No Where I'm from, strength is the only law that matters. Like well, I guess that's simple enough. All right, then. Are you ready? I'm always. That's kind of amusing. Cordelia and Pan. Thank you. Pan, I wanted to thank you for the other day. Hmm. I did nothing. You treated my wounded Pegasus, right? You gave her a healing no. self. No. Listen. Oh, I see. Well, whoever put it on, the medicine was very effective. <laughs> His secret Togwell recipe, far stronger than your man spawn cures. Uh, not that I would know. Ah, <laughs> so it was you. I had hoped to treat the wound surreptitiously. <laughs> well, you're both very, we're both very grateful. Thank you, Pan. Stop. I do not deserve your gratitude. After I treated your creature, I, I made her an offer. Huh? What kind of offer? <gasps> I offered to free her so she would not be subjected to the dangers of war. This fighting has nothing to do with her or her kind. It seems cruel to make her struggle alongside us. But she told me she wanted to help and could never desert you. What? My Pegasus said that? Yes. The creature is very faithful. That is why you must take care of her. Right. Yes, of course. I'll do everything I can to make sure she isn't hurt again. Thank you. Do all in your power and more. I would not like to see such a magnificent beast come to harm. <laughs> Nor would I, Pan. Again, very sweet. I like these characters. But it's just so difficult to get, like, all the conversations, but... <gasps> oh, let's go to the end game. It's literally the end game! End game. Grima. God, you're such a fucking weird-looking dragon. <laughs> Wretched son of Naga. You will be destroyed. What he said. Yeah. As ready as I'll ever be, Krom. Let's finish this. Huh. So it kind of looks like I'll need to wipe... Unless that's them, like, floating. It feels like I'm going to have to take them out. Because they're on, like, these weird things. Or... Then again, it could just be them flying, but it feels like they're on exasperation level 30 to what? Nullifies lethality encounter and more than halves damage. 
Oh, Jesus. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. All right. Uh... Let me see a thing. Uh... Do I have any more of those, like, instant up things? Because, uh... I'm gonna give her some big ol' heals. Because I think we're gonna need it. Let's see. Physic is... Restores a distant. And there's rescue, ward... I'm just gonna use mend, because I think mend is, basically... Or is, do we have a super one that raises all? Nope. There is the one that's way, way down, but... Unless I'm gonna use my last one. Then again, it's the last one. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy and use, like, all the things. Boot time! Let's go crazy just slightly. All right, then. Let's go. I'm going to assume she gets weaker if we kill her minions. What the fuck? Uh, what? What manner of magic? The magic? That was a damned catastrophe! He's weak at us all! He's too strong! Uh, it cannot end like this. I won't have all our struggle, but if I not... No, this darkness... The future is upon us! Oh, God's father! <laughs> and so it ends, Neon. See how frail these human bonds of use are, of use of yours are. How short-lived. How pointless. You have all thrown your lives away, and the result is the same. We're not dead yet. Hmm. Details, details. But yes, I suppose it's time I got you all off my back, so to speak, permanently. <laughs> no, no, you don't want this, do you? You do have a choice, you know. It doesn't have to be this way. You can still save your friends. Become one with me, and we shall spare their lives. Refuge and watch as I rend their flesh from bone. I... No, Neon. Don't do it. She's lying. It's a trap. Now I will have your decision. Will you save these worms? Will you join me and become a god? No. Do you think me a fool? You'll kill them anyway. Well, of course I would. I only thought you might want to leave your comrades with a heroic, selfless image. But so be it. Leave them with the final memory that you were there undoing. Ah! ah! Neon! The fuck? So you forcibly took me. Is it going to be a battle of the center of the mind here? Where am I? Yes. Where your god wills you to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some fleas on my back to take care of. What? No, I won't let you! Is there- I hope everyone gets healed up again, or I have half a mind to restart just to give everybody heals. <laughs> you still dare resist me? Then perhaps I should end you first. Well, obviously I can't be- So dark. A sea of black. I have no final strategy. No cards left to play. She is one. I can't see. I can't hear. I feel nothing. Nothing. <laughs> to attack! Or ack. Huh? You have the back! Hiding! I hear something. A voice. Fight 
back. I have to keep playing. Fight back! What he said. You swore to do so, remember? Now keep your damn word! Krom? Krom, Krom, I can hear you! What? what? No, you are mine now! The dragon's grip cannot be broken! Hey. On your feet, soldier! Don't make old Teach give you a lecture! Neon, remember all the days we spent together? Don't fall. Uh, answer us, Neon! Be strong. Do not rob the Togwell of one of our last true champions. We doing this? Up and at him, Neon. One dragon ought to be a piece of cake. I'm here. We're all right here by your side. I'm with I you. thought I, I thought I was your favorite dragon. Forget about Grima. It's all right. You have earned my trust and my love, milady. Now return to us. I need you to come back, Yon. I need you to come on back, you hear? Keep it we lost to the fell dragon once. Do not grant fate a second victory. <sighs> Mother, you mean everything to me. I can't lose you again. You're going to be okay, right? I need you to keep me safe. You'll return? I know you will. You are not Grima, nor is he you. Remember that, Neon. I can hear them. I hear my friends. Stop this at once! Silence those wretched voices! You're all powerless, frail, insignificant! You are nothing! Return to us, Neon! Your bond with us is stronger than even the Fell Dragon's might! Krom. But I said... Come on. I'm coming, Krom. Hold on! And here I thought I would actually have to do things. Children of man, take my power. Rise now and face the Fell Dragon! This is anime as fuck, man. All right, then. Oh, it's like everybody, like, that we actually had on our party. That's super cool. We're going to wipe out the enemies to the rear first. Love the music that's playing. Well, first things first, let's see. Love the music that's playing. This is amazing. I love it. Love the vibes. Come on. You ready? We're literally fighting on the dragon's back. Son of a bitch, that actually hit. Get out of here. Like, unless those are, like, eternal, like, backup generators, then we need to run towards Grima. That's a big step closer. Because that's what it could be. Just constant generation of enemies. But it's part of my thinking that maybe if we wipe out the enemies on the map, it'll weaken Grima. Because they're like on little shiny things, but then again, could be teleporters. That's what they could be. Or just runes denoting like this is a battlefield and... No matter what it looks like, they can, like, keep going. Yep, 
Yep, they're teleporters. And we'll have to take fight on these guys and head back. First thing we need to do is activate this so that we can plot to just bum rush the bitch. I'll take you on right here. Fuck your magic. Keep them from following us. We'll fight on forward. We are here to take on the future. But I, just, I love that the fact that all of the current, like, characters in your party are the ones that, like, activate to fight with you. Or, like, talk to you. But yeah, this definitely seems like a bum rush the boss situation. Because I'm going to guess that each pair of diddly Ds activate to basically be like top, below the top, middle, and like those pairs will keep going unless it, unless it acts like the, like a, uh, the map where we activated the power of Naga, and it just will keep activating reinforcements again and again and again. I just love that they're playing this music. It's so good. Thank you for kill stealing. I forgot to l finish them up. Oh, well. That's not good. I think we might be able to get it. Haha! <laughs> Slaughter them. Slaughter them all. Down to the last! Your baloney will do no damage. Hmm. Maybe we'll get another crit. Get out of here. Again, just love the music that's playing. If one of those four percents hit, I would have been so mad. Get out of here. You almost had the health to survive that, too. So it's kind of right. And yeah, let's kill him. He can't even hit me. Bye bye. Yeah, I rule. Not gonna give him a chance to attack back. We'll take down them again and again as we make our way to the monster.
strike them again and again. Now I'm angry. Get out of here. Right. Must suck to have like a bunch of dead bodies on your back. Ah, huh, Grima. Blast him away. Keep marching forward. Bye bye, Grimlil. We're on the top of a dragon's back with smaller dragons fighting for us. That amuses me. And we can wipe out two of these freaks at the same time. How dare you survive? Let's see, who's scarier? I'm gonna say you. Die, please. Come fight us, come die. How dare you do two damage? More specifically, how dare you live? Oh, that's not good. Double not good. You can. Yes. Oh, oh, good. You're not ranged, so you can die. <laughs> Did you say lunchtime? Lunchtime indeed. Yes, please sacrifice yourself to Grom. Grom? Grom. 200. Booyah. Oh, those are some bastards up there. I'm here to kill you, so please die. <laughs> Let's try and knock this guy down. Don't want these guys to ha just like be annoying at us all the way through. Would you care to die too? I thank you for your death. Booyah. Blast this man away. Get rid of that assassin man. Send him running home to death. To the planet below. Now I'm wondering if a Fire Emblem game has ever gone to space. Booyah. Axe Breaker. Good job, Donald. Bit late, but still. I would say bleeding out of him. I am so 
She won't let you die. That's why we're here, to kill these people. Perfect amount for a level up. Come on, come fight and die. Toodaloo. Mega toodaloo. Blast this guy away. Just keep moving forward as much as possible. We gotta get to Grima and mob him to death. Because if we're not careful, Grima will probably one shot some of our people. And Bullion. Still profiteering off of the people all the way up here. I'm gonna blow you up. Explode you right off this place. Chase after us all you want. Your lord and master is in our sights. Hear my words, Awakener. Grima's servants will beset you to no end. Dispatch him as soon as you are able. Once the fell is we one is weakened, a choice will await you. If Krom lets fall the final blow, Grima shall survive but return to slumber. Right. So be it. If Neon strikes in Krom's stead... Both her life and Grima's are over forever. Only in this way may the fell dragon be destroyed for good and all. The final decision is yours. I'm going to believe in the power of anime magic and believe that we can beat these bitches. I think we can do it. I think we can survive. Now come on! Bring yourself to end. We have been fighting for a while up here. And it's just feeding you more and more power. Yes, come and destroy yourselves. The Grim Leal are kind of bullies. They're trying to bully the entire world to death. Never will. Get out of here. Yes, please, throw yourselves. Getting utterly mad. Utter madness up in here. The real impressiveness is that... Oh, good job. I thought it was actually going to survive. And Lanku said no. Let me just see. 
Could be a dangerous fight. Is there like an accordion playing in there? In this theme? That's what it sounds like and I like it. Blast you away. We need our tankiest members to go and fight. And coming indeed. You will die instead. Blast that little man away. The next few turns. Decide everything. Yes, ranged people, come die to a ranged powerhouse. A powerful ranged god. Throw yourself into doom. Lucina is just going all out. Skills and crits and skills. Now let's see. I think that might be good. Let's blast you. You can do no damage. I am Grima. I am despair. I should have looked at your skills. Is what I should have done. Oh wait, you just had a thing that's like stops crits and uh, abilities and halves damage, right? I love the animation. See? <laughs> I'll blast you. Return to me. Come, we are one and the same. We are not. Be gone. Does, it, does that count as him doing the final hit? Better not. N ah! Right. Now, Neon. Oh, because now we get the chance to choose. Okay, good. It wasn't actually a diddly d. It's a dialogue option. Because if it was a, if it was li uh, uh, this is our chance. I'm going to finish it. No. It has to be me. Neon? Wait, what? What? What are you doing? For once, I'm glad you and I are the same. And I can give my life to protect those I care for. You would not dare! All right. I would and I will. The evils you would visit on this world are unthinkable. In some way, I... We share the blame. It's only right we meet our end together. No! 
It's only right to free this world once and for all. Does that thing have a fucking skull snout? That's what it looked like. Now crash and burn, Grima. Burn away. So the world can be free of you. Neon, no! <laughs> Thank you, Krom, for everything. Tell the others, my last thoughts were of them. May we meet again in a better life. Wait! Neon, no! Gods, no! Damn it. And again, Krom died fakely, so maybe I'll come back as well. Who knows? The war has ended, my friends. Never again will the fell dragon trouble our world. I owe you all far more than words can ever repay. Especially Neon, who gave herself to save us all. To save all the worlds to come. <laughs> Poor Neon. After everything she did for us. No. Don't cry, Lissa. We'll see her again. I'm sure of it. Remember what Naga said? That Neon would survive if our ties were strong enough. This isn't over. I believe Neon is out there. Somewhere. And I'll find her. If it takes me the rest of my days, I'll find her. It's an anime. I have to come back. It only makes sense. You're right. She has to be out there somewhere. And we'll find a way to bring her home. Even if we have to search every open field in this whole stupid world. Ah. I believe the same, my prince. Neon is too strong to simply disappear. It falls to us to look after the realm until she returns. Yeah. Neon had, <laughs> had damn well better come back. If that blasted dragon truly got her, I'll be the one breathing fire. <sighs> she made a noble sacrifice. And I know my nobility. And I know Neon shall someday return. Yeah. Neon's gotta be out there somewhere. How do I know? Hey, you don't question the Vike. Hmm. I can feel it too. Neon's out there waiting for us. Though I surely will miss her in the meantime. Uh. While statistically unsubstantiated, I have what laymen might call a hunch. This hunch corroborates most of the statements made thus far. Neon, I know you're out there. I know you're not gone. And no one knows more about being lost and found than me. I wish you could have stayed with us long enough to see me grow stronger. But all the more reason to work hard between now and her return. She lives. I know it. Some people just aren't the dying sort. Right. If Crom believes she's alright, then so do I. Maybe I can work out some new magic to bring her home. If she returns to us now, I might even consider making her tea myself. Do you hear that, Neon? Me making tea! You should be honored! <laughs> Let us honor Neon's regard for her warren. She was a true Togwall. And a true Togwall would not leave family behind. I feel she's out there. <laughs> if Neon's anything like me, she won't check out just because a job is done. Gotta collect all the sweet rewards, right? Too many times now have I watched loved ones give their lives for me. I must hold on to faith that this time will be different. Hmm. Oi, Neon! You daring to make Gregor celebrate alone? Gregor not rest until he drink you on the table! <laughs> <laughs> Neon's not gone, she's just displaced! I'll wait a thousand years for her if I have to. In Naga's name. Naga has a way of sending a ray of light into even the deepest darkness. May Neon find that light, just as she became that light for us. She had better march back here and try again. I only send people off on my terms, or in a casket. There will be one less set of eyes on me as I dance. It feels wrong. Please come back, Neon. Please be out there somewhere. Minerva says she still feels Neon is of this world. Also that she smells delicious, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, Neon, everyone's dying to see you alive! 
We're sick to death of death. That reminds me of a good one. Two risen a wyvern and a priest walk into a bar. We've won our future. We're in debt to so many sad memories. I pray at least one of those sadnesses will yet be undone. Right. I swear my life and blade to defend this future you have won, Neon. If you can hear me, swear that you will help me do so. Right. She did what she had to do. That's the mark of a true warrior. She'll be back. I bet my sweet brown eyes on it. <sighs> ah, leave it to Neon to take responsibility for all of us. If she cared for us that much, I hope she knows how we still need her. Thanks to you and the others, I was able to change. And I've got more changing to do. I want you to see it. You've done so much for me and all my many, many sisters. You're an extra special customer. I hope we meet again. I feel a soul straight and true pulsing in the darkness. The hero will return! No tears today. I know she'll be back. I'll just have to wait and try to smile. I won't cry. She'll be back. I know it. And in the meantime, I'll write the finest song about her that ever was. I'm glad for our victory, but I wish it did not mean so sad a farewell. I still have so much to learn. Come back and teach me. Now I know what it really means to be a hero. But heroes always come back to fight again, don't they? Fool! Why did you sacrifice yourself? I refuse to accept it. Return me on or face my wrath! She showed me that I have a future. That destiny can be defeated. We have to believe we can alter destiny once more and bring her back. No. Mother, you can't leave me now. Not like this. I believe in you. Come back! All this death. No more! Please, you've... You've got to come back. The world is vast and full of potential unexplored. I shall devote myself to discovering that art which might reunite us. No, this is all wrong. She can't be dead. She's out there. We have to be patient and believe. This is all wrong. You can't just leave Neon for dead. I'll wait until the end of time for her return. Neon put others before herself. No one can question her character. But her work is not done. She is still needed here. Neon has secured for us all the most precious gift of future. Now it falls upon our shoulders to protect what was given. I vow to give all that I have to healing the damage this war has wrought upon the realm. When Neon returns, I want her to see what her sacrifice bought. Neon, if you can hear me, you will always have a place here with us. Remember that. Always. Don't you dare credit you credits me now! You credits me! You fucker! Yeah. There has to be an after credit scene. There's there has to be. I refuse. I do like that they actually show, here's how many turns it took to do this, here are the heroes for them. But yeah, the, there's no way in hell that that's actually the end. Sure, it ends on a, everyone is going to go looking for you, everybody's gonna find you. Ugh. Well, that was an emotional roller coaster. So I guess I will give my thoughts. This is an amazing game. Overall, the story isn't, like, mind-blowing. Although the twists are kind of cool. If it weren't for the, uh, spoilers that I was suffered by Smash Brothers, mere existence, then I wouldn't have known that Lucina was from the future. And I'd be like, hey, I wonder what that portal was from. Did it have anything to do with that premonition? But... Yeah, the overall story, because really the story was, for the most part, kind of basic. The opening is cool. Then comes along the... The Dudley Da. Of, uh... Where it's mostly, like, focusing on the war between... the Gangrel's war. Then it's Stal uh, Walhart's war. And then it's Valadar's war. 
And then we... Basically, it's a checklist of people we have to kill. And... It really does feel like... Uh, the initial war with Gangrel, that was nice. Because it felt built up. Walhart felt out of nowhere. Like a giant space flea from nowhere. And it, the war on Valm felt like it could have used a few more chapters for characters to be established. Like, technically they foreshadow the existence of uh, Sairi's brother, but then he exists only on one map. And yet Cervantes is alive for multiple maps. And we have to kill him twice, which doesn't make much sense. I love the music. But yeah, overall, I love this game. The story, again, like, yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly that middle part where Walhart comes out of nowhere. Is, because uh, Gangrel's War is neat, but then the Valm War is just out of nowhere, and it's constant back and forth. It's like, oh, the Dynasts are, we can unite them. Oh no, the Dynasts have betrayed us. And it's just like, constant back and forth, back and forth. But... Ultimately, I really do like, really do like this game. The characters are what make it, I think. Because, again, the story is just kind of eh, except for the begin. Everything having to do with Plegia is nice. I just think that if Walhart's War, the Valm War, was like five chapters longer or something... Just a few more chapters to spread out characters and, like, submit the sub cement the war. So it real feels more back and forthy and not like, oh, we lost our entire army there. <laughs> Out of nowhere. But in the end, the journey was good. It kept me guessing on how long the game was gonna go. The twist that the me was from the future and the premonition was her memories and that she was Grima. And, like, the twist, like, I knew that the brand of Grima was going to come into play eventually. And I did like that. It's like, everything that is touched by the characters in this game are really good. If anything, there's almost too many characters. This is so, I like it. Ah, as Elise's new knight captain, Frederick took charge of keeping the peace and training new recruits. His wife, Sumia, traded her lance for a pe peaceful stretch of pasture and raised a happy group of pegasi. Ooh, victories, battles. Nice. I hope it autos. Yep. Varian returned home to Roseanne, where he was labeled a traitor and a coward or else ignored entirely. But in time, he was forgiven, largely thanks to the bold and slightly terrifying nature of his wife, Sully. How dare they label him a traitor and a coward? He literally brought the Elysian League. Vike returned to the streets that raised him and was welcomed as a hero and brother to all. Still, the children were fonder of Shersh, who spent her time feeding and clothing orphans everywhere. That's sweet. Stahl continued his service as an Elysian knight and led crucial missions across the realm. Maribel was quick to whip his scatter-brained nature out of him, and the two lived a long and happy life. I like these epilogues here. Oh, the music! Oh! Not even peace could dull the lovely Cordelia's knightly edge, as she became a figurehead for all Elysian warriors. Her husband's name has been lost to history. <laughs> I wonder why there's a like a silver pot there, but that's that's so mean. He's lost a time. 
Long Ku returned to Regna Ferox and served as Basileo's right-hand man. When the West Con sent Olivia to on errands across the globe, Long Ku accompanied her without fail and ensured her safety. That's so mean. He was lost to history. <laughs> While continuing to study magic, Rickon realized how childish some of his actions had been. Muriel's intellect inspired him greatly, and together they unlocked the secrets of the universe. These are sweet epilogues. Gaius never lost his sweet tooth, though he ultimately returned to less savory enterprises. Lyssa always insisted on going along, and the two survived many a comically dire predicament together. <laughs> so they lived an action-filled <laughs> action comedy. After the war, Gregor briefly sank into a life of excess, but fear of his wife's hexes led him to resume work as a sellsword. Tharja secretly tagged along and used her talents to keep him safe. Ah, so Tharja actually saved him from, like, I guess, drugs and drinking, and it kept him alive. Many an unfortunate child found joy in the small orphanage Libra and his wife built after the war. The children loved Libra like a mother and often pestered Pan to transform and give them bunny rides. That's sweet. Fetching Friar Proud to go. Oh, I've, I've been missing that. Twisted mind. After Grima's demise, Henry made a cold, clean break with history, never to stain its pages again. So he just de vanished, probably because I didn't do much with him. After returning to Chonsin, Sairi worked tirelessly with the other dynasts to secure a peaceful future for the Valmy's continent. She was occasionally seen visiting her brother Yenfei's grave. Intrepid Khan, I keep forgetting to read that. With Grima a done deed, Basileo returned to Ferox and applied himself to dethroning Flavia. If his army of champions failed, he knew he could always wait for little Lucina to grow up and lend her a mask. <laughs> That's sweet. After Grima was vanquished, Flavia returned home and did a marvelous job of whipping Regna Ferox back into shape. They say that each time a tournament drew close, she would ask Krom to lend his sword. Con Lioness. Village hero Donal, an eternal youth Nawi. Donal returned to his tiny village and built a happy life with his mother and his wife, Naui. She loved her new home and scampered through fields and mountains with the fervor of a village cat. Oh, it's showing who had the most ballot battles. Secret Cellar Anal. Anal? Anna. With nary a word, Anna left the others and returned to her free-spirited merchant life. She was later sighted across the continent haggling with suppliers and beating down the cost of goods. For Sia Lucina, Lucina disappeared after whispering these words to her infant self. Yours will be a happy future. Did she journey to another land or back to her own time? No one knows for certain. Oh, we don't know. Darn it. Owain tried settling down in Elise, but ultimately set off on a lengthy quest to stay his sword hand 
oddball heroes matching his description continue to crop up in lo locale, local legends to this day. The Chosen One, Owain. Flower Picker and Ego. An ego traveled the world ever ready with a smile or a solid solution when trouble started to brew. His services and performances were awarded with the best currency, the joy and gratitude of others. How sweet. Daunting Priest. Brady left the priesthood to become the world's scariest violinist. <laughs> his rondos were apocalyptic and his requiem so full of melancholy that everyone in the room, performer included, burst into tears. Good for him. Fair Fighter. Knowing her battle had not yet ended, Kiel set off on a new quest of self-discovery. Her sincerity led to much heartbreak along the way, but each painful lesson further hardened her as a warrior. Hero Chase Her Cynthia Cynthia never gave up on becoming a hero and traveled the land in the name of justice. While she impacted the world of comedy more than the world of legend, people still loved her for trying. Secret Dreamer Severa, eager to shrug off any kind of intimacy, Severa began a solitary journey, but once a year she was said to visit her family and yell at them for old time's sake. That's almost kind of sweet. Masked Rider Jerome. Jerome and Minerva set out for Webbon Valley. Many saw the rider and mount through the years. Though most described the man as distant and contemplative. Though most described the man as distant and contemplative. I thought there would be more. Gift from afar. Morgan's memory never returned, but he didn't seem to miss it much. Later, scholars would speculate that he had come from a different future than the other children. Ah. It would make sense, I guess. Timid Togwell and Little Miss Nar. Jan tried desperately to find a safe haven after the battles were done. While Na endeavored to steer them clear of trouble, they soon realized the best place was Elise, where their journey began. That's sweet. The elucid, elucid, I can't say that. Longing to meet his mother's intellectual standards, Laurent went on an expedition around the world. His curious nature led to many adventures, which he later put to paper in a rousing novel. How sweet. Miss Personality Noir. Noir stayed with her mother after the war as her assistant. Was she simply trying to protect her infant self from Farja's curses? Or did Noir find solace? with the woman who brought her into the world. Divine Voice Tiki Exhausted from the war, Tiki returned to the Divine Dragon Grounds and slept for several days. Afterward, she was said to come down and visit the people regularly. Also sweet. And this is the table that started it all. The end. But what about Crom and my epilogue, you bastard? You rant fucker. 
damn it. Is that candle going to blow out or do I have to click the button? The epilogues were nice. Kind of weird, like Henry basically be like, he never stained the pages of time again, which is kind of funny. Oh, oh huh? Mom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Did I get sent back I again? Awake now. Or are they just reenacting it? <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. Give me your hand. And I don't have the brand. Welcome back. It's over now. Yay! For a moment, I was just like, did I time loop? Newly exalted Krom, high deliverer Neon. Many wrote of Neon's legendary exploits, but accounts of her origins and character varied. Scholars, poets, and bards agreed on one thing alone. She loved her husband, Krom, above all else. This is sweet. The theater, unit gallery, and support log have been unlocked in extras menu. Champion has been added to soundtrack options for challenges. Avatar has been added to the avatar logbook. You can now use this avatar and other save files. Your renown upon clearing the game can be carried over into a new game. If you have cleared the game more than once, the highest value will be used. What do you mean renown? What's renown? What is renown? Theater, rewatch movie scenes. Ah, and you can get a close-up of characters. Interesting. But... I have to... I kind of have to know. I want to quickly just, uh, see what the game means. By that. Don't care, don't care. We'll just go. You can be Robin, I don't care. I just want to know... What Renown is, right? What did it say about Renown? It's just like, you, you can, and if you, if you do it again. Or do I have to save over it? I hope not. Would you like to receive notifications? Don't care. Hmm. This is it. Our final battle. Well, I don't know what the renown is about, but hey. Diddly D. Maybe maybe you have to actually get past all that into the actual game before you can use the renown. I don't know. I'll probably experience that on my own time. I just wanted to see if it was like uh, I believe it's Tales of Symphonia where if you do that like do like a new game plus kind of thing, you can like do it straight from the start. Just wanted to see if there was anything interesting like that. But music too loud there. Ultimately, I will give my thoughts. Again, the main, like... Looking back on it, the main war with Plegia and Grima is nice. Walhart's war on Valm is kind of middle of the road, but uh, Walhart himself is kind of cool. And the, the evil tactician was just amusing. It was an interesting thing, but it felt more like a side attraction than an actual, like, big part of the story. The only part that actually seemed to matter was awakening Tiki to learn of the gemstones for the Fire Emblem. But, yeah, everything surrounding, like, Gangrel, Valador, Va Valador, Valadar, and Grima is cool. Because it had, like, a bunch of interesting things, like the the death of Emerin, Gangrel being an insane bastard, the reveal that, like, Valadar was our father, and there was... That... It, it took a long time for them to finally get around to be like, Hey, diddly d you moron. Here's what the deal is with that clone. Because <laughs> they just showed up and was just like, Ah, yes, it is you. And they didn't speak of it. <laughs> at all. Ever. And that just amused me greatly. 
But God, does it make the premonition so much darker that Validar broke that world's, like, Avatar Robin, and they killed fucking Krom, and then went back in time to ensure their own existence and basically destroy the world, which is dark. Although it is kind of funny to think about, suicide saves the day in which Robin Avatar kills self to save the world. Dark. But, yeah, the twists, the turns are all very interesting. Like, there's political intrigue, like, you have to go recruit Ragnar Ferox, and it's just like, it's really cool. The characters are all really, really cool. And actually, come to think of it, I got through the game without, well, of course I got through the game without losing anyone, because I played on the casual mode. Because I didn't want to worry about losing people. And that ending and the epilogues made it very worth it. Is it more worth it if you save everyone in a mode where they can die permanently? Probably. But then that would just means that instead of spending 50 hours to get to the end of the game, I would have spent like over 100 hours constantly redoing things to be like, no! Because I would have been too anxious and painful to do it. But that ending, I really like the ending. And I like that there's a choice there. Sin, like, put, uh, put Grima to sleep or sacrifice yourself. But this is an anime. Oh, but the fact that they threw multiple freaking choices at you again and again in the last five chapters. Well, six chapters if you count in game, I guess. I think. Or was that one? No, it might have actually been 25. Uh, or like, uh. We started on chapter 21 for this one, so it might actually be five chapters. But yeah, like, Lucina comes in, and you have to decide. Because I still don't know what happens if you decide to reject her judgment. What the fuck happens if you do that? What happens? What happens if you do that? <laughs> what happens if you do that? I don't want to know. It's entirely possible that Lucina would die there. Or something, like who knows? Maybe you'd have to fight her and she becomes super injured or something, I don't know. All I know is that that would be super more depressing of a choice. And then of course there's like, would you like to sacrifice yourself? And then you have to do it multiple times. That minor heart attack I had when Krom decided to jump in and get the final hit on Grima anyway, which I guess would be in character for him in that moment. But luckily, there was a dialogue choice afterwards. If it was an older, if it was an older Fire Emblem game, it totally would have been, like, then again, older Fire Emblem games wouldn't have the, the team-up system. Of which, I really like the team-up system. And it's also thematically appropriate, the ties that bond us. And how they affect everything. I like it. The epilogues were very nice, even if, <laughs> poor Kellum, his name has been lost to time. And uh, that ending, like, post credit scene, where I was just waiting, is this, is this a time loop? Are we time looping here? But nope, they just basically intentionally reset the thing, bookending it. And the brand of Grima is gone because the power of Grima is gone. I love this game. This is an amazing game. It is just so great. It is very fun. And I do like that there is, like, multiple difficulty options and a mode for people who would stress out like me over losing characters. Like, I know that heightens, like, the valuableness of the characters, and it means you have to play better, but, like, they're, this is still a video game, and there's still bullshit at times. Look at Cynthia's recruitment paralog. There are shenanigans here or there, and, like, I don't want to deal with the shenanigans. Like, if the only time that I would be, like, perfectly fine with, like, playing a game on anxiety mode of, oh, no, one wrong mood, one wrong move means the death of a character that you like, and then you might be forced to train up another character, but if you train them wrong, like, they could die too. Like, the only time that I would ever care to do that is if it's, like, 
sort of inconsequential, like XCOM 2. Where, yes, you get attached to characters because each of them is unique and you level them up and they're valuable, but, like, they aren't, like, story important to this, where you lose out on, like, the the epilogues and the supports. Like, none of them in XCOM 2 are story important. And, like, that's just one thing. And the only time that I would be willing to go through that is if the game was perfectly balanced. Where it's like, they made it very, very good. There's still challenge, but if you know what you're doing, you'll never lose anyone. Sure, there's stuff like that, I'm sure, in lunatic, lunatic mode. But I'm not, good. I'm, not, I'm not good enough to face lunatic mode. Are you insane? But... Yeah, even though there were moments of shenanigans here or there, the fact that I didn't have to worry about my characters being blasted by those shenanigans is what made this game very fun. I honestly probably would have dropped it if I had to continuously reload saves again and again, or maybe save states depending on the game, because who knows. I'm just, there's probably a mode in here where like, aha, your saves get locked, fool. Every choice matters. But, like... Having the casual mode really opened up the game, eased my anxiety. Again, I originally was going to play Blazing Blade, I believe, as my first Fire Emblem game. Because, like, hee hee, I want to play them in, like, uh, release order, in a way. Or chronological-ish order, whatever. But basically, I wanted to play, like, Blazing Blade, then Blinding, uh, Binding Blade, then Sacred Stones, then the GameCube Ike game, then the Wii Ike game. But... Like, I constantly, like, three times I set up, th like, everything to begin playing Blazing Blade. But the anxiety of, like, oh, but I've got to be careful. I'm going to play this perfectly or I'm going to lose characters. Ah, that just destroyed me on the inside. And then I never played it. But then one day I just decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to play Awakening because they have a casual mode. So it is literally the perfect place to start a Fire Emblem journey. And then, if you want, you can try to experience that, like, harder, more classic mode. Sure, there are jerks and dicks out there that are like, Nah, you didn't actually play the game because you didn't play it on classic. But it's just like, it's a video game and they made that mission and they made it there. Mm. <laughs> and I'm fairly, I wonder, actually. I wonder if they didn't have casual mode, if, like, how that would affect, would have affected Awakening's, like, release. How many people would have gone, oh, this is a super strategy game that's harsh and mean, and would have looked over it. But then other people like me were like, oh, I can make mistakes and not be utterly annihilated for it. Yay. But, yeah, I really like this. This is, I can definitely see why this was the revitalization of Fire Emblem, especially in the West. Because I think Fire Emblem was always kind of a cult classic in Japan. But this is the one that really blew it up. And I can't wait to experience the others. I I need to plan out if I want to do, like, at least... A part of me wants to at least do two routes in Fire Emblem Fates. Because I know there are three routes. Uh, there's Birthright, Conquest, and then the third one. And I believe the third one was, like, DLC, unless you got the Super Collection th all three-in-one box. But, again... Yeah. I, like, accrued everything I would have needed to play it a long time ago, so I, my brain is mushy on the details. But I will play Fates. And I don't know... I A part of me thinks that I would probably go Birthright and then third one... But I'll look up, like, see if I can find spoiler-free, like, little opinion pieces like, Hey, here is your spoiler-free guide to the routes of Fates. Because, well, we finished Awakening. Next will be Fates. Then Fire Emblem Warriors, which I'm just very interested to play. Because it's a bringing all the various games together game, I believe. I think there might be some original stuff, but... It seems to mostly be, like, Awakening Fates and, I think, Shadow Dragon come together. But I don't really have much 
real care to play Shadow Dragon right now. Maybe in the future I'll play Shadow Dragon. Maybe in the future. Or maybe on my own time. But Fates is next, where I will probably do at least two routes. Unless people are like, oh yeah, it's totally worth doing Conquest and Birthright and the third one. And then we move on to Fire Emblem Warriors, then Fire Emblem Three Houses. That one is going to be painful, because there's like... It is going to be a super big game. It's going to be Fates all over again. And then there's Fire, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, which I think is kind of a Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity type of game, I think. I don't know. But yeah, Awakening, super fun. Super fun. The characters are good. The supports are nice. Their interactions are cool. The story is kind of basic here or there, but mostly in the Valm section. Valm is all right. It's kind of a breaking things apart section more than anything. But one thing that I find utterly hilarious is that baby Lucina is just like forgotten for the most part. Baby Lucina is born and then we leave her in the capital and she's only mentioned here or there. Everything else is devoted to like her adult self. But I wonder where... Hmm. I wonder how, like, obviously it seems that the only way to really change... I wonder. If I got, like, Lucina's supports to A on both me and Krom, would her epilogue have changed, I wonder? Or are the epilogues only affected by S ranks? More than likely, they're probably only affected by S ranks because... Take into account, like, ah, they were... Then again, for Lucina, I could see them making an exception just to really diddly dee, but who knows. But yeah, Awakening was super good. I had a lot of fun. The music is good. I liked the 3D environments during the battles. And, like, I do understand why people are like, ah, I want to go fast, and they'll keep it in sprite mode, but... I like the battle animations. They slightly draw it out just enough where in important battles it feels important. But I I'm still surprised that Basileo survived. I thought I actually thought he was dead. A part of me was going was like, well, we didn't see the body. <laughs> but after Flavia came back, it was like, oh, he's dead. So his him coming back was a genuine surprise. But I find it hilarious that Basileo spoke like, oh, uh, Neon had seen this in a premonition, when I'm fairly certain that we never talked about that. At least not on screen. We never said, hey, Krom, I had a vision where you fucking died and I killed you. <laughs> but I, I feel so bad for the future Krom. The future Krom who was killed by somebody who then went on to be like, I now I'm going to become a giant fucking dragon and kill people. Eh. But that shall be it. We've been going for four hours clearing off this game. It was a lot of fun. The I think the only aspect that I think I could, like, critique is I think the future children were introduced too late. So either the game needed to be longer again, maybe pad out Valm by making it more interesting. Give it a gimmick, maybe. Add a few more chapters. Give it a gimmick. Make it stand out more. But, yeah, I think, like, it, I have no idea, like, how long you'd have to grind to really unlock every single support you could in a single, in a single run. The grinding would be unimaginable. Absolutely unimaginable, I would say. The grinding just to level people up and their weapons up was already draining. And that was doubling as support grinding as well. Hmm. That might actually be a thing where I think sometimes it felt like supports took a little bit too long to get to. Overall, I think it's fine and, like, mostly a replay thing. 
But again, I think the future children came in too late. And it would have been nice if the future children were actually integrated into the story. I know that would have been difficult because, like, the, the reason that the future children are designed the way they are is probably because... Probably because... They are made up of characters that have to get to S rank. Where I do believe only the mother matters except for Krom and then, I guess, Robin? Where Robin would also have, like, even if you chose male Robin, you would get Morgan. But, like, the reason that it's designed that way, with the paralogues, instead of integrating them into the plot, is because the developers wouldn't know that you did or did not get a character to S rank. Although I think you could have fixed it a bit where it would still be slightly, like, a slightly annoying, but kind of understandable, is maybe if they went and made it so only the mother really interacted with the future child in, like, the main story segments. But again, this is the game where characters can die and be gone. Which is also an, another aspect of probably why future children are relegated to paralogs. Because one or the other parents could die. Meaning that that future child then wouldn't exist, maybe. Or, and, or if they still went with like, ah, oh, it's kind of a paradox. They came through the portal and exist in this world anyway. It would still lead to the moment of like integrating deaths into the plot, which I'm not sure they could do. Because, like, even characters like Lissa and uh, Frederick kind of come in and out of the story and probably could be replaced or ignored in the moments that they are, like, put there. But making accounts for, like, ah, this character can die, so we need to do this, or this character can die, so we better do that, the it would be a lot to account for, so they probably just didn't want to bother with it. So they wanted to give you, hey, if you get S rank support with these characters, then future children will exist, but they can't integrate it into the main story due to how the game functions and how the story functions, but they still want to do this cool thing, so relegate it to paralogs. Which <laughs> kind of makes me wish that the classic mode... <sighs> that kind of makes me wonder now. Because classic mode, then, is kind of holding the story hostage to a degree. It's almost holding the story hostage because you can't do that cool thing where at least the mother character will meet their, like, uh, child. And, like, maybe the child can make a funny joke because it's just like, oh, well, you haven't met father yet, so I can't say anything. Or maybe they don't even know who their father is. And... Uh, <laughs> like, things like that, which still is, need to be accounted for. But then some characters are already kind of relegated off to only being able to even get supports with specific certain characters and can't get supports with others. Like, I don't think Pan and Naoi, I don't think they can get supports with each other. Which is kind of weird. You think the shapeshifters would be able to talk about their shapeshifting. So... I feel like they could have integrated the story bit a bit more. Like, hey, Varian could have died. And how would that cutscene been handled with Shersh? Maybe Shersh could have come and be like, I heard Varian died in your war. Like, maybe small changes like that. And that, like, could also be it if they, like, limited the amount of suitors to characters who give way to future children perhaps I just think that maybe like I feel like there are ways that it could have been done but they could would have eventually just been complicated they probably would have just overcomplicated the things and making like the story and the systems work together nicely with this cool idea so I will admit that the way that Awakening handled the future children 
is probably the best way they could have handled it. Optionally. That's the only way that it really could be done unless you really jumped through hoops to make, like, contingencies for every single possibility to still include the future child in the main plot. Personally, I would have really wanted that. Like, have more characters interacting. I think that would have been cool, but oh well. But I do believe that will be that for now. Fire Emblem Awakening is super good. I'm glad I played it, and I can't wait to play more modern Fire Emblem games. Who knows if I really, really like the series up till, like, uh, Three Hopes. We'll give Engage a shot. I i don't think I've heard bad things about Engage. I think I've heard a, a, a lot decent about Engage. So, I do believe that that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel where essays and other such things take place. Videos, uh, scripted reviews, essays, countdowns, and stuff. All go there on Neon Icy Wings. Then if you want to catch video game content like this from me, you can follow me on Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel, where I live stream and upload gameplay to all the time. So if you want to watch me play games like the Ace Attorney Trilogy Live, you can. Or if you want to look back on games like, I guess, Fire Emblem Awakening now, the Mass Effect Trilogy, Undertale, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, just Spyro and the Spiral of the Dragon, just tons of games. All there uploaded as a backlog, you can do that. And if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And if you like my little character in the corner, you can follow me on various art sites, and not art sites, I guess, where I post art, like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, Newgrounds, Pillowfort, lots of art sites because there's so many goddamn art sites now. And links to them can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. A direct link to the link tree can also be found in most descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites. Also found in my link tree is my writing. Links to those writings that I do write about. So if you want to write... If you want to write stories... If you want to read stories that I do write, then you can find links to them. And if you want to throw a dollary do my way and give nice mercy upon me in these dark days, you can also find a link to my Patreon. But yes, but yes, thank you very much, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>